Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Alright, let's get started with some Mech Warrior. Uh, I have only just installed and gotten these mods working. And I've only been playing the vanilla game so far, so this, uh... Hopefully it's all gonna work. Um, but the modded playthrough... The, the modded part of the playthrough is gonna be blind. Uh, we've got pilot overhaul, which is supposed to make the pilots a lot more interesting. Give them quirks and stuff. Uh, we got the yet another mech lab weapon, clan weapons. Uh, pretty a heat gauge and armor display makes it a little bit easier to read. An AI overhaul. Morbid dragon. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we'll see how the AI overhaul goes. Um, certainly the enemy mechs uh, were not very smart, and I had to do things like give my AI wingman in a catapult only LRMs if I wanted them to not wade into medium laser range, like to maximize their DPS. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. And we got a bunch of weapons added, because there really are not that many different uh, weapon options in the base game. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. Um, I don't think we need to restart. I already just fired up the game after getting this to boot. Uh, pro tip, make sure you install... MechWarrior 5 com compatibility pack and then boot up the game with that by itself before trying to add, oh, I don't know, Pilot Overhaul, which was crashing the game uh, before it would even start. Um, and because of the way the Steam uh, Workshop works, if you remove it, using the Steam Workshop, and then add it again, it will re-download what is somehow a gig of a mod. Literally a gigabyte. You'll not be able to access most of this mod's settings. Um, sure. It's probably fine. Alright, let's give it a go, shall we? Uh, new campaign. We'll skip the tutorial this time. In 2108, Why do we humanity still have all of this began. crap on the right side of the screen? Seems like it sorted itself out. Alright. Are you prepared for cinematic genius? Too bad. The, uh, the single player campaign, like the campaign story and missions are honestly incredibly underwhelming. Um, good thing the gameplay and randomly generated missions are decent. Commander, sorry to wake you. I'm a bench watch some shows since I got COVID. Oh, binge watch. Ah, uh, depends what you're into. Okay, this is the part where I walk around very carefully, because driving the human feels almost like driving a mech, and if I flick it around like I normally would in a first-person shooter, uh, we're gonna get dizzy, so let's be careful about Commander, that. Good, to see you all. We good thing the mech combat works. Since your father was killed. I'm not much for sentimentality. Me neither. I don't know what's... Yeah, those... Who... no, no, I... Okay, 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 okay. What's our ob objective? Uh, I have to speak to Mr. Complain that mechs take damage. Hey mate, figured you'd want an update on the Centurion. Took a bloody beating back there, so fair warning. It's gonna be a while before she's operational again. Means you're gonna Indeed. have to get comfortable with the light mech over in Bay One for now. She's a good girl. Let you down. She's a good girl. I'll do my best. 
Yeah, Fantastic. Anyway, so Alright. You know yeah, 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 yeah. Can we get started? No? Uh, I have to use the terminal this time. Don't make me regret asking you, though. <laughs> oh, no. Under pressure. Now I have to pick something that's, like, broad... It's got broad appeal. Uh, oh, is this, um... Is this just the vanilla game? I think it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so... What do we have here? It's got a handy cell. Um, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else new here. Wait, I no, 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 I wanted to check. God damn it. I wanted to see if there's any difference. I, I guess it's just repair all without the... Without the confirmation. But normally you have to go into loadout to make sure you're not missing any parts that you're trying to replace. Uh, nothing was actually destroyed, so... Ooh, we can see the engine. Improved targeting. Non-standard parts. Centurion shield. What is this Centurion shield? Uh, heat speed sensor range... Cooling structure unbalanced. What does this mean? This mech is inherently imbalanced and suffers a penalty to mobility because it's not symmetrical or something. I mean, the stuff we've got on the mech is symmetrical. Council has decided your fate? Oh no. Uh, this is a lot. Also, we probably don't have like. No, we got over a million. I'm pretty sure we have to jump into a battle like right now, though, right? I don't want to wait a bunch of days before the mission starts. Um, where am I going? Repair your centurion. I thought we did that already. Repair all. Don't tell me. Because I used this button, the vanilla game doesn't recognize that we've done this? Are we stuck? Uh... I, th I think we might be stuck. Also, I'm noticing a bit of lag in the in the UI here, since I added the mods, as long as it doesn't affect the, uh, the actual gameplay, it's fine. Okay, I guess, I guess we're restarting. Um, YAML game settings. I'll probably just leave these on default. Uh, alright, return to title. New game. Repair all. I tried it. Aham, Ahamda? Curix? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. New campaign. Skip tutorial. Skip video. Skip video. I do have to say, uh, MechWarrior 5's Commander, campaign story, you, but our has it's fine. Head to the bridge as soon as possible. Commando, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. I, okay. I, think, I think we got the idea, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, MechWarrior 5 Merc's campaign story has to, has to get the award for most bland I might. Figured you of all the games I've played in a long time. Um, okay, so we're gonna go click the button that we would normally click in vanilla. Repair mech. Hue work order. Return to hangar. Repair your centurion. What? 
Really? Back to the K2 SE VODs I go, been loving it. Greetings and have a nice train. Well, uh, thanks for dropping by. And thank you. I... <clears throat> so... Are we actually just stuck? I'm surprised we're such a short duration into this and we're having a problem like this. Access the mech console to view the battle mech screen. It doesn't tell us anything further on this screen. Um, paint it, sure. I, I don't think that's going to help anything. I could try using the other repair button. Wait, if I just load this, can we go back to when I was supposed to repair the mech? Off to a good start. Alright, this is right after the conversation, right? No? Right before the conversation. Okay. Okay. Speak to Fahad. Fahad. Hey, mate. Figured you want an update on the... Okay, repair your Centurion. Access the mech console. Yes. And then just like we've done before... I'll try... I'll try using loadout this time. Repair all. Start work. That is all. Cue work order. Did it recognize it? It did not recognize it. Wait! No, the text just, like, repeated again for no reason. Whoops. Um... What the heck is that music? Uh, am I gonna have to, like, remove mods temporarily to... to get past this bit? I, I presume I can load my other game. No problem, right? Didn't it say 58 days to repair? Yeah, but I don't even have the opportunity, uh, the option to wait or anything. Like, I can't access the usual screens. Uh, sure. First run detected. Let's see if you have any... Uh-oh. One-time equipment check. Okay, so here we are. We we can indeed get into the game properly. Um, presumably, I'll have to run the game just past the silly tutorial stuff without. I'm I'm guessing it's yet another mech lab. It's gonna take a restart to get rid of it. All right, I'm just going to turn all of these off, uh, except the compatibility pack, I guess. Restart. Get past the bit where it says, repair your mech. And hopefully we can actually continue. My, my guess is there is something about... Yet another mech lab. The, where it's changed something or other in the normal procedure for repairing your mech, as far as the code is concerned. Like, whatever the the vanilla campaign is looking for. It's not triggering 
that event. Commander, I, I, yeah, those bastards that who are the another and the no, I, no, until this copy. Okay. Hopefully there's not going to be another event like this, like, just a little bit down the line. Alright. Repair mech. Done. Speak to Rihanna. If we have a mission before we jump or something... Hey Commander, I've received a transmission from Spear... Rihanna. I received your uh, access the home screen. Okay, we have the home screen. This is probably as far as we need, right? New save. Home screen. Uh, Andy Gaming, thank you very much for the seven months. Much appreciated. And a welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, so we reactivate mods. We need to restart. And hopefully we won't run into another little wall like that. How are you doing? Not too bad, not too bad, thank you. Just getting ready to... to do some giant robot stompy. Alright, single player load... Uh... is it this one? Okay, home screen. Fantastic. First run detect. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. No tracked objective. Few transmissions. Smashy grab? Recover material. Raiders. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Mad Dame Salsa, thank you very much for the seven months as well. And a welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Contracts. Oh no, another screen like this. Please tell me it's going to recognize that we've done this. Okay. Uh, wow, I'm not used to only having one negotiation point. It's probably still the way to go to say, give us the salvage. We can always sell it if we need money. And we have no pilots, no mix, just, just me. And just this one little javelin. Away we go. Oh, I should have looked at my own character. I, I, I doubt it would have anything unique there, but maybe pilot overhaul would have some kind of surprise in store there although i don't know if you'd want to be stuck with some unique weirdness on your own pilot depends what it can do look at all these empty mech bays very sad we need to do something about that okay Station is located on the other side of the ridge. You should be able to make your way through the pass undetected. That javelin you're piloting is lightly armed, Commander. But what it lacks in firepower and armor, it makes I up think in I need speed to go this way. Mobility. I'm sure you wish the Centurion was repaired and ready to go. For this particular mission, though, the javelin is the mech best suited for the job. And hey, oh, I kind of damaged my legs. Good start. Try, Rihanna, but I'd still rather have the Centurion. 
Well, can't blame a girl for trying. Captain Bland. You'd think if they're gonna throw a bunch of cliffs at us, we'd be able to jump over them without jump jets. If we're forced into a light mech here. Wish I could tell exactly how much damage I'd done to my legs there. The power station being used by these raiders is derelict, Commander. But you can bet its perimeter defenses won't be. My guess, the raiders will have turrets stationed around the perimeter. If that's the case, it means they must have a generator close by. Find and destroy that generator before assaulting the plant, and you'll have a much easier time. What do we got? It. I've only got medium lasers. Thanks. And apparently so does that tank. I'm detecting enemy units up ahead. Could be a radar patrol. Oh, I don't think I want but uh Alpha Strike. Oh, it's on Wait. My medium lasers are all in my torso, right? Damn, this thing's stronger than I was expecting. I need to reconfigure. Target acquired. Stop shooting at me. I said stop it. There we go. Robo punch. Alright, uh, I need everything on group one and chain fire. Chain fire is really good in Macquarie 5. You can still. You can basically still alpha strike with it. I don't have weapons on my arms or anything, so... It's not like... There's a reason... It's not like there's a reason for me to... Have different weapon groups... For the beams on different sides. Oh boy. I said stop it, punch, indeed. This looks nifty, have you played it before? Yep. Uh, I've apparently played about two thirds of the campaign and I've just started again with uh, some mods added. The last mech game I played was actually MechWarrior 2 Mercenaries before this. I was a little surprised looking back at that game. Uh, the graphics were worse than I remembered. Let's put it that way. I can't get I can't get my aim that high. Did I lose my arm? Holy crap! That was quick. I may be used to slightly heavier mechs than this at the moment. Oh, another beam. Okay. Uh, let's save. Nope. We've got energy beams. With the generator blown, the turret should be disabled. And we're at zero degrees. I was gonna go punch it or stomp it, but we don't really need to do that. If I remember right, the end of the first mission. I miss Armor Core back during the PlayStation days. I'll say I played that one. Oh, whoops. At least that doesn't damage. Okay, the slight delay before the jump jets kick in, I need to bear that in mind if I'm trying to soften my fall. It's almost a second, actually. Time to smash and grab, Commander. Once you locate a storage crate, more keep a pickup, then move on to the next building. From my initial scans of the site, I've marked where I think the crates could Oops. be located. Look there first. Roger Would you there. die, please? Oh boy, that was bad. Where, where did he go? 
How are you so tanky? I mean, I know you're literally a tank, but... I'm used to these things dying a bit quicker. Did I... Did I start on hard mode or something? Uh, okay, I need to salvage, right? Also, I need this on group 3. This is a really weird mechanic. Um, I mean, it's no big deal, but I don't know what they were thinking. There it is. Oops. Good work. Professional mech pickle. pilot. Where's that tank gone? Okie dokie. Looks like they only take one laser each. Uh, did I just crash into one? Yeah, I think I did. At least I've, uh, I've still got all my lasers. Where did that tank go? I was planning not to fly all the way here, actually, but okay. Good work, Commander. That's the last of their power generators. Indeed. Fantastic. What am I doing? Locate salvage. There it is. Approach it a bit more carefully this time. Okay, got it. Keep looking. And presumably, since this is a campaign mission, we're following some kind of linear path. It's probably up here somewhere. No. Oh, there's another one back here somewhere, I guess. That okay, I think we know where it is. Fantastic. Go ahead and meet me at the exfiltration point. If you see anything worth blowing up on your way out, say a weapons depot or something, I won't object. <laughs> Can I jump good. across there? Okay, I'm not turning as fast as I thought I would. Target acquired. I don't think jumping is going to get me there any faster, actually. You'd think I'd be able to punch a little more often. Twelve lasers? You're still going? Alright, what else is on me? A flame tank that doesn't know its range? Perfect. Oh, I have no hands anymore. I think I should leave. I, I, I think... Why am I this... Oh god, I've lost my legs. Uh, this could actually be bad. 
One of the legs is dead. This was supposed to be easy. Something is very strange though. I think one of the mods is making the tanks way, 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 way more tanky. Normally, you just look at them. If you have four medium lasers, just look at them and they'll die. making it that much harder for them to hit me. Try and get some cover, I guess. Well, that could make the early missions a lot more difficult. Asks a tank, how are you so tanky? They're not supposed to be tanky compared to a mech. Okay. YAML makes tanks tougher, so does scary tanks? Oh no. You know, some of the big tanks uh, take a surprising amount of punishment in the vanilla game. I'm kind of scared as to how those would look later on with that mod. Zinder and Albion Line, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I guess we'll take the tier one stuff and... Oh, wait, we've... There's only five points of salvage to claim. I completely wasted my negotiation point. You can configure it though, fantastic. Weapons depot destroyed, uh, apparently didn't happen. I don't know what was supposed to look like a weapons depot. At least we made it out. And continue. Speak to Fahad, he's going to complain that mechs take damage. Hey, boss man, that was quite the haul you brought back. Gonna make the repairs a bit easier now. But don't Fantastic. go getting stars in your eyes or nothing. I'm overworked as it is, and this shit needs Literal a lot stars of in my eyes. So your centurion is still gonna take plenty of time to fix. But yeah, like I said... Well, yeah, I usually these know. things take like two oh, months man. if they take a lot of damage. Now, if Although... Nothing else, gonna get back at it. All right, Lord, somehow, no matter how many mechs you get completely destroyed that need total overhauls uh it seems like it seems like they can repair an unlimited number of things uh in parallel do you have mod options installed uh no i just installed the mods and went with the defaults good work with those raiders commander while you were planet side i got word from spears about the plan he's put in place for us rihanna commander good news I think I can get you safely past the blockade with the aid of a local mining company. To make everything work, I'm, I'll match that number while I arrange that. Things go well. Using the new... Okay, okay, I okay. The okay. mission is a straight-up protect and defend op. Seems... I've... I, I promise you're not missing much with the the story. Uh, no current events. Apparent, apparently Farhad lied to me. Apparently the Centurion is ready to go. Alright, what are we doing? Um, transmissions, imminent threat, contracts, here we go. The mining company settlement is vulnerable to raider attack, let's protect. And, oh wait, I forgot. No, I didn't waste my negotiation point, because it gave us three salvage points. That's still the better way to go, almost always. Sometimes you want to do some damage coverage. Mind the weather, Commander. It'll compromise your visibility. Oh. Uh... Good thing we can just arbitrarily wait a while. However long this is going to take. Uh... 
we probably don't have enough stuff for me to really think about. Critical slots three, critical slots one. Ooh. Hard points don't matter with this mod set. We can go ham. Alright, I think we'll just stick with this for the moment, though. Start work. 42 days. Ah, uh, rip. And this thing is apparently fully repaired and Farhad is lying to me, but, uh... Mission will have to start in 42 days. Let's try and be a little bit more careful, although it's not like... It's not like with four medium lasers, there's a whole lot of options that I have against tanks. I guess I can try to punch them more. They'll probably effectively be more accurate if I'm close to them, though. Maybe I can play peekaboo. Okay, Commander. We know very little about these raiders' overall strength or sheer numbers, so keep a sharp lookout for enemy units on your approach to that settlement. Copy that. I almost thought that was a trash can over there. Hard points are there, listed above the armor. Oh, okay. That's probably enemies. Let's keep it out of line of sight until we're in range. I can't get an angle now. Um, is it gonna move? Please help us. How am I gonna get an angle on it? There are women and children here. Rihanna, something's interfering with my sensors. I think I can just reach it. 324 range, and we've got the basic medium range, uh, range, medium lasers. Fantastic. All right, let's try not to stomp the stuff we're supposed to be protecting. Oh, this might actually be really difficult. With OP tanks. And we have to defend. Something already damaged this one. And punch, and... Punch. Can't even hit it at that angle. There we go. Helicopters are kind of glass. Ca wow, they made the helicopters a lot tougher as well. Jesus. Was, did that take like most of four medium lasers? It literally takes four medium lasers. Okay. Well, the early game is not going to be boring. Can I hit you? Fantastic. Should I punch or should I try and take some cover? Probably try and take some cover. Unless there's only one left. Target acquired. Since I can't see you, I'll shoot your friend. Target acquired. Probably more than one more volley to kill it. Target destroyed. Commander, the settlement is taking significant damage. No kidding. We need to clear out these raiders now. I know. I'm doing it as fast as my little lasers will allow. With a top speed of a hundred, this thing would accelerate a little faster. Oh, I should have shot a little sooner. 
There we go. And punch. These civilians are safe for the moment. Unfortunately, it appears the raiders aren't done causing trouble just yet. They're headed for the company's main processing facility on the other side of the mountain. You need to get there and thwart that attack, Commander. Understood. Jump jet fuel empty. That wasn't very helpful. Jump jet fuel low. Do jump jets just suck in this game, or is, has it always been like this? This smells like a trap. What's happening with my senses? With my HUD, rather. Rihanna, my sensors are getting worse. The jamming device the raid has set up is at the top of this pass, Commander. You're going to have to manage as best you can until you're able to take it out. And there they are. Target acquired. And punch. And punch. The second punch. You'd think a second punch would come out a lot sooner, since I have two hands. Thing it's not aiming that machine gun at me. Oh, that's a lot of stuff to kill. Need to manage line of sight. Raider's gonna raid. This is gonna take like 20 minutes of medium lasers never missing. Can I finish it with a punch? Nope. Now we're gonna get shot. You need to eliminate the raider threat. Target destroyed. Don't really want to have line of sight to that many enemies all at once. Fantastic. Good thing they're not just shooting at me. I don't think I could win. And over. Oh, that's... I'm not very good at controlling jumps. Get punched. Target acquired. And punch. Target Fantastic. Target acquired. All right, I think there's only one or two left now.
Up we go. And bump into the wall. And lose track of our target. There you are. I think I just, just technically destroyed some of what I was supposed to protect, but it was pretty much already rubble. Hopefully that'll hold up in court. Target destroyed. Whoops. Enemy VTOLs are inbound on your position. No, Carter. I haven't finished with the tanks yet. Alter Ego is a piece of heavy machinery with tons of firepower. If left unchecked, it will do a lot of damage to the settlement. You should prioritize taking it out over the smaller enemies. But I haven't finished killing this one. Oh no. It's gonna take 17,000 medium lasers to kill this thing. Oh my god. Can't even find this guy. He's still alive! Okay. You know, I think that advice was exactly wrong, because I can at least remove one gun if I hit one of the helicopters with all four lasers. And I just don't have the firepower to kill that thing quickly. I mean, I'm still shooting it because I happen to get angle on it, though. Can't even see what I'm sh freaking shooting. Holy crap. Finally. Give me some angle. I can't get an angle. If only these medium lasers were on the arms or something. Maybe give me some LRMs. At this rate, we could lose. Good work, Commander. Oh. That should make the mining company happy. Prepare for exfil. I'm on okay. my way. Is that it? Fantastic. We've managed to crawl out of the first two missions, trailing blood. Reputation rank two. Fantastic. All right. We got a bunch of tier zero garbage. Um, I'll probably just take what sells best. 100k for one share cost. Absolutely. 125 for two is better than this, I guess. And that's it. Okay. Maybe I should be tinkering uh, with that mod. Wait, no, you said there are hard points, so I can't put, like, missiles on this thing, right? The raiders were intent on shutting down the mining operation. Too bad, too sad. Speak to Rihanna again. Commander. It turns out the bastards who attacked us and who have set up the blockade are a mercenary outfit by the name of Black Inferno. Unfortunately, that's about all we know at the moment. Spears and I will try to dig up more information if we can. The time it's will difficult to exaggerate how much more I want to be in this but mech right than this now, mech right we have now. More pressing concerns. Inferno forces are closing in on our location. That means we only have a small window in the company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, access from screen, fantastic. The Centurion is ready. 
beautiful uh, takedown. What are we doing? Enemy presence. We'll need to eliminate them all. Destroy as much infrastructure as possible. Fantastic. Where are we going? Same system still. Alright, it's a uh, demolition. Wait, is it? No, it's a takedown. Alright. Should I even bother with salvage when we're only getting tier 0 stuff? I'm sure that'll change soon enough. Wait, I have more points. Um... 400,000 damage coverage, or 250,000. How much was my last repair? Repair all. 380k. I think we know the answer. All weapons, all E. As in E for utility, I guess. Misc equipment. Oh, we have better medium lasers. We've only, we've got five actually. I could oh we already have that. It's actually tier one. See the hard points? Um Arms slot? Is this like a generic weapon slot? Can't remove these, obviously. Can I put... We don't have any missiles. Apparently we don't have any machine guns either. I literally have nothing but medium lasers. Uh, oh no, that's valid only. So we can't... Yeah, 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 we can't... Uh... It doesn't show the... It doesn't show the hard points like usual. I guess we can see them if we switch back to weapons, though. Anti-missile system? Where's the anti-missile system? Oh, for the arm slot? And the blue 0 out of 2 is the hard points. Oh, I see. AMS. Hell yes. I miss AMS. Uh, well, we obviously don't have anything like that yet. So, for now, I guess we're just reverting. And I don't have any fancy utilities to play with either. Engine core 200, 8.5 tons versus 7 tons. Resilience is the same, gyro weight is the same, internal heat sinks, 7 versus 8, required external heat sinks, uh, 3, I don't, is that where these would go? It's like, we have to at least have the space for the heat sinks? Uh, max speed with a 30 ton mech, 97 versus, oh, whoops, I swapped it, 108. I don't think that's worth, uh, 1.5 tons on a 30 ton mech, though. We didn't have any heat problems, but we were on a ice planet. And I definitely don't want to drop armor. All right, repair all. Just leave it as it is for now. I would put more armor on the arms, but they're already just about maxed out anyway. Start work. 49 days, bloody hell. Good thing we've got the Centurion. Improved targeting. Roller. Oh, AI rules. Nice. So you can give it an AI role. Nice, nice, nice. If I get my 
double ER large laser K2 catapult, I can just tell the AI to play it as a sniper. Fantastic. Okay, uh, I kind of want to have a look at what we have here. Improved targeting. Robust targeting system makes it easier to hit enemy targets. Projectile speed goes faster. Weapon cooldown is faster. That works, I guess. Am I paying tonnage or something for it? The AI mod is broken on the new mission types in DLC 4. Uh, fortunately, I don't have any of the DLC yet. Leah Yang TV. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, I don't think we'll worry too, too much. I could go... Well, no, I couldn't. AC-10 is probably fine. We don't want to pay the time and cost to refit. What? What did I change? I... Didn't think I changed anything. Okay. Uh, we don't want to waste the time, let alone money, right now. And thank you for the follow. Alright. Always salvage, and we'll do some damage coverage. Because... I'm not getting out of a solo mission without damage. As is light, indeed. Alright. Right. Wait, what are these warnings? Tonnage? 41.5 tons out of 50? Uh, why are we low on tonnage? What is this? 8%... Pilots will perform worse than usual when deploying unwell. This pilot's performance is degraded by 8%. Impacts of wellness are slower reaction times, lowered focus, increased risk of injury and death. Performance impact increases with consecutive unwell deployments. Uh, so I'm resting for one day. My player character is. Maybe we should take a little time to tweak our mech. Can we perhaps just add some more armor? We've actually got eight and a half tons untouched here. Uh, but we don't have all that much to play with just yet. Don't have any ultimate engines or anything. Oh, no core installed? You're joking. Did I accidentally remove this when we repaired the mech? Oh, no. <laughs> Speed zero. Yeah, that might be a problem. That, that might be a little bit of a problem. This game seems so complicated. Uh, I made it more complicated with some mods. Alright, I, I guess we're gonna wait three days. That's not as bad as I expected it to be. I should have tweaked the armor or something before I committed to that, but it's probably fine. Um, mission... We'll start in three days, therefore... I won't have decreased everything. Okay, but how does my pilot being tired reduce the mech's acceleration? <laughs> Never mind. What is this? Pilots perform better in mechs that they know. Hmm. That's cool. I like that. Oh, there's like pages of stuff here. 
pilot record. Uh, damage done. Received. Kills. Ammo explosions. Record in Centurion None. It doesn't have details on like the other mechs here. I wouldn't want it crammed into this space anyway. All right, mission starts in three days. I won't be tired. Perfect. Uh, do I have to ready up again? There we go. Presumably the pilot tired thing is in the timeline, so I could wait to that if I wanted to. is going to be a big step up from the little baby mech. These raiders were taking down our murderers and thieves, Commander. Don't show them any mercy. I'm a mercenary. What, what do you mean? You get the horns. That's it. Exactly. There we go. I've got enemy contacts on the um, head, Commander. This should probably be chain fire. Fantastic. Alright. Not many more solo missions, I think. Here's a little trick. Go to, th go to third person view and the legs get faster. That is a very aggressive looking left arm. Ooh. And have some auto cannon. Gotta have some more auto cannon because you are ridiculously tough. Holy crap. This is this is getting Okay, this is a bit much. I'm gonna have to use up all my auto cannon ammo. So we've already taken in more than a couple of scratches against a couple of tanks. Miss. Oh yeah, two lasers aren't going to bring one of these down, I forgot. There we go. Who wants some? How much range do I have on the auto cannon? Like... 450, okay. About the same as the medium laser, actually. A little bit less. Let's go this way. I think there's someone going up behind me. Too close for LRMs. Fantastic. You are not fantastic. You are a problem. There we go. I must have hit the cockpit. Auto Cannon 10 only does twice as much damage as a medium laser. I don't think I uh, dealt enough damage by hitting the body there. the base. We see nothing. Oh, that was rude. Target acquired. 340 meters, have some everything. Fantastic. Who dares laser at me? We're already damaging the base because the enemies are just plowing into it. Fantastic. 
Apparently they've 10% destroyed it already. There we go. Where'd that tank go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got problems. Uh... Can't quite LRM when I can't see... the lock. This is bad. I should... I should limit line of sight. Fantastic. How much ammo do I have? 57, that's actually quite a lot. No. I said no. I think there's like one target over this way. There's a helicopter. There is another helicopter. I don't know where it is. I, th I think it's directly above me actually. Can we get some... Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Not a fan. Look at him driving his friend's corpse around. I can't focus on that helicopter right now. Get rid of this one, and then maybe... Was that a PPC? the helicopter's gone. I hope that was the only one. I don't believe it was. Missed. He's almost down. Go away. No one said you could join in. Think of it, the AI is definitely improved. Uh, where are you? Alright, I think we can finally get to the business of demolishing this base. That thing's already dead. There's another one in here, I think. Yes. There's another one? No. Okay. Time to finish destroying that base, Commander. And finally get to smash it. Actually, that looks explosive. Let's not. Let's not do it this way. That's taking forever. Did they make the buildings tougher as well? Alright, what can we stomp? Fantastic. How much ammo do I have? 41. I don't think I want to be using auto cannon on inanimate objects anymore. That's a lot of smoke. How about LRMs? Nope, needs to, needs to be locked on. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Fantastic. Get literally wrecked. Yes, indeed. Roger that. The Igor has three parts, main body and two engines. The engines are weak and taking out one downs the craft. Okay. Evil Plum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh. I noticed that 
with the Centurion, the two punches were pretty close together. Peekaboo. You're still alive? Oh my goodness. There we go. Those are some tough helicopters, damn. How far do I... Okay. Much as I there we go. Oh no. Oh, it's just a spider. It's, it's probably gonna have if it's it's probably gonna be easier to kill than these tanks, honestly. <laughs> We'll probably have fewer hit points than the helicopter. Where's the other one? I thought there were two helicopters. Dilka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yes, it is. Uh, I can't LRM from here. Hello. Fantastic. Yeah, but it's a 1v1. If you're having trouble hitting the critical areas, try focusing fire there instead. You may be able to wipe out his mobility advantage. Let's go down this way since I'm all... Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Not quite what I had in mind. Do not need gratuitous damage to the legs, actually. Yes, we did. Get to the extraction point, and I'll pick you up. Okay. That was so much easier to kill than the tanks. Stomp, stomp, stomp. And we took pretty much just superficial damage. Okay then. I think we're past the hardest part, honestly. What do we got? Tier zero everything? We can pick up parts of a spider? Salvaged scrap of a destroyed battle mech. Fahad can assemble a random damaged variant of the chassis from these parts. Requires one salvage per every five tons of the mech. Hmm. So we could pay a whole lot of 
whole lot of money to put this spider back together. Uh, I don't think we need a spider, do we? It was like, what, two medium lasers or something? Even for a small mech, that is a little sad. Should go and should go all in on machine guns if you want really light mech, I think. Alright, what do we got? Nine salvage. Um It's all tier zero. Maybe I should take things that we don't have. No. I I think we just go for the big money for the moment. Uh let's see, that's like sixty two and a half thousand per... yeah, good enough. Okay, fatigued for two days. How are the, um, multiple mission operations going to work? If my player char character gets fatigued, do I just have to wait? Can I just wait? Uh, I guess we'll find out. Alright, only 154 grand of damage, fantastic. I think that's all covered by the, uh, the one point in insurance. Spider mech might be small, but it's also fast. That is how small mechs work. Fantastic. Speak to Mr. Complainy Pants. Hey there, Gov. Oh yeah, we finally got a name for these bastards who've been chasing us down. Black bloody inferno, eh? Right? You Indeed. know what a black inferno is. Alright yes. then. Nice chat. That good talk. Alright. Climb the stairs once more. Hi, Commander. Hello. Thanks to your efforts, the mining company have kept their word and booked us transport on a jump ship. Spears has also obtained a new mercenary ID number, so all we need to do now is choose a new name for our merc outfits, and we're good to go. I'll leave that up to you. Fantastic. Once you've registered the new name, come back and see I me. hadn't thought Thank about you. this. Uh... What do we have? Did the mods add any more options for the icons? I don't think so. Which one should we take? Do we have something that looks like a dinosaur? That's a horse. Probably not. Um... Let's just go for this thing. What was it Farhad said about stars in your eyes? I don't know. Gold star. Perfect. That's never gonna come up again. Okay, Commander. Everything is set for our departure. The transport contract with the mining company is a false flag Spears and I set up with their cooperation. The Fantastic. mining company has legally hired us to transport cargo for them. But in reality, so? we've been asked by Spears to help him out of a jam. I agree. Spears works for Interstellar Expedition. They do archaeological digs, and one of the expedition's dig sites has come under attack. We're going All right, to let's protect it then. Uh, have we queued up repairs? We have not. Probably just keep this as it is, unless, uh, unless we can improve one of our components. That's already the same. What about the auto cannon? Uh, nope. All right, ship it. Where are we headed? Still in the same system? P 
pilot recovery. I think Commander Mason is me. Fantastic. Um, where are we going? Oh, here we go. New system. Fantastic. We are going one hop over. Hey, that's different. Was this added from... from a mod? Not bad. Very cool. Alright. Contracts. There's only one, because things haven't opened up yet. Hold off the enemy forces. Fair enough. Give me all the salvage. Cover my damages. And... We only need to wait six days till the Centurion is repaired, so that is by far the obvious choice. Record in Centurion below average. Current effects minus 5% on everything. Fair enough. So it probably only takes a couple of missions to get up to normal proficiency with each mech, I guess. Oh, this one. I think this is where we get our first pilot. Just ahead of your current position. Unidentified enemy units engaging. Copy that. Mayday! Mayday! My blackjack has suffered critical damage, and I am under assault by raider forces. Please, I need backup! Don't worry, I'll drive these raiders back. Keep out of sight and hunker down. I'm pretty sure when I played the vanilla campaign, that blackjack was right here, and it was, like, basically already dead. Oops. Could you hurry up and die, please? There we go. Uh, which one should I focus? Probably the one that's easier to hit. Where'd that blackjack go? Is he not helping? No, he's right behind me. Apparently not doing anything. No, I think I can hear him shooting. That's too close for LMs. Yeah, 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 the black check is doing some work. Fantastic. I wonder if the same mod that made the tanks ridiculously strong made sure that we would have this blackjack to help us. I can hit that from here. There we go. Indeed. Perfect. Oh, 
target destroyed. All right. I've actually got enough firepower around here to see our Acquired. targets, our tiny enemies disappear. Oh, careful. Target destroyed. Turn around. Fantastic. Target acquired. SRM-10, because that's a thing. Definitely don't want to get near that. It's a hell of a lot easier clearing these bastards out with some help, Commander. Yes, indeed. Yeah, said you guys needed some reinforcements. That's an understatement. My entire lance was wiped out. They came down on us like a ton of bricks, out of nowhere. Wave after wave. Been holding them off as best I can, but I don't think I could have held out much longer. Well, we're here now, and we've got your back. I appreciate that. Seriously. Still a better love story than Twilight. Friendly faces. We still need to protect this site. Copy that, but they'll be coming back soon enough. Like I said, they attack in waves, and they haven't shown any signs of letting up. Yeah, attacking in waves is basic tactics. Yeah, I set them up when they started digging. There's a turret generator close by, up on the hill. It cycled off after the third or fourth wave hit us. It's still off at the moment. You want to try cycling it back on? I'll watch your six. Uh, sure where is it? Where do I need to go? Oh no. That's a little bit far Looks away. Like that's a lot of enemies. Holy crap. That, that's... That's at least seven. No Steppy the Cement Truck. You are moving fast. There we go. That wasn't a very good shot. That was better. Fantastic. It's easier when we have some actual firepower. So we're supposed to press the button here. Turrets Don't squish it. Active, Fantastic. Target acquired. Not a lot to see right now. I need to get closer. Yeah, this isn't going to cut it. Ten out of ten visibility. There we go. Push him back. No, no, I don't think there's any reason to do that. Jack following me definitely doesn't hurt. Yeah, I didn't think I had angle for that one. Nice shooting. There's a repair bay 
we can use. First, you need to cycle on the second turret generator. Okay, I'm on it. This is literally the only time you'll see something like this in this game. Picking up 10, 12 bogies this time. I told you, these guys never quit. Keep up the pressure. Target acquired. Oh, that's a lot. I shouldn't have wandered straight into all of this. I will avenge my landmates. Fantastic. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Fantastic. How many more do we have? Target destroyed. Target acquired. Like three, I think. Oh, I need to switch this thing on. Target destroyed. Much schnell, bitte. Let's take these bastards down. Don't squish it. There we go. They said there was a repair bay, right? Target destroyed. Target acquired. Ouch. I swear these Star League ruins bring nothing but trouble. Target acquired. Got him. He's already dead. I can't see where this uh, alleged repair bay is, though. Oh, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. And another 17,000 enemies. to get an angle on. There we go. Not enjoying those auto cannon noises. Oh wow, the dig site's down to 27% as well. Could actually lose. All put sea bills down that it's either destroyed, corrupted, or heavily encrypted. In we go. Hold E to repair. And immediately get hit. Uh, if we have this instant repair tech, why does it take months to repair my mech normally? Punch that. So rude. Plot twist, it's months late. <laughs> Indeed. Key ringer. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Give me that LRM lock. Oh. 
Nope. Probably gonna destroy my own stuff if I shoot now. It blew up anyway. Okay. Those SRM tanks always mess me up, indeed. Not to be underestimated. I didn't use SRMs much for a while, and then I got a Stalker. They're surprisingly... well, double SRM6s are pretty decently strong. I thought I saw red blips flying over. Oh. He's gonna run straight at them, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Guess I'd better get over there. Yeah, don't fight where we've got all these turrets or anything. The turrets that you had me go around reactivating? probably be focusing one. That one looks... actually they both look pretty hurt. Come back, I want to punch you. Yes. Fantastic. I think you're just about done. Fantastic. Missed. I think. Never mind. There we go. Spears will be impressed, as he should be. A new Merc outfit is already on his way to secure the site. Hang tight for now. I'm coming to pick you up. Copy that. Is that the mission? Just wanted to say thanks for the rescue. Things were getting pretty grim before you showed up. I lost some good friends today. Good pilots. I don't think I could have held out much longer myself. You hadn't dropped in. I appreciate it. I'm glad we were able story to is happening. Just wish we'd gotten here sooner. Me too. Unskippable story is happening. You know, we could always use another pilot. One with your skills, he'd come in awful handy. Let me back in that repair thing so we can today, finish with no damage. Now, it'd be an honor to serve with you, Commander. Then consider it done. Welcome aboard. And fade to black. Fantastic. Okay. Unfamiliar. Hey, we got the Jenna. Intro date 2785. Ubiquitous. Uh, what do we got here? Tier 0 everything? We got 9 salvage points. How many do I need to get the Griffin? How about we sort by name? That might help. Uh, how big is the griffin? 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Isn't... Oh, a griffin is 55 tons, so this doesn't let us get a griffin. Uh, I think I'll probably just skip it. Then again, I'm guessing we're never going to see... I'm guessing that we're never going to see salvage of enemy mechs like we do in vanilla, where it's just like one thing that we pick. So maybe I should be looking to build this mech? Hmm. Well, consider the other parts we've got available here. We got a bunch of SRM-2s, medium lasers, machine guns, LRM-10. All of it's tier 0. Not particularly excited about any of that. Um, we need some spare jump jets in case they get destroyed. They're also relatively high value. Everything is share cost. Uh, not everything is share cost one. AC5. May as well just go for the money here. Well, it definitely doesn't hurt to have a few spare medium lasers. We need to stock up on heat sinks at some point, but I don't see any yet. Bruised? I wasn't bruised. How dare you. Alright. We got us a pilot. Let me see his stats and stuff. Actually, we'll get this out of the way first. Have a little chit chat. Hi, Commander. Excellent work protecting that dig site. Spears thinks you did a hell of a job. A chip off the old block were his exact words, referring to your father, of course. That's quite the compliment coming from him. As you know, your father and Spears did a lot of work together over the years. Proved quite lucrative, too, for both of them. Hopefully, we can continue that relationship. Let's hope so. But we need more than one client. If we're good, we're up now. Yep. What do you I've heard other we speak if we I your Oh my god. Much talk. Um, let's see. We can finally jump around and take missions at will, I think. The actual game opens up. Well the uh the camp the usual campaign stuff that is. Uh yeah, I thought I almost thought I'd forgotten to order this thing fixed. It's taking a sweet time. Just another 13 days. We're gonna need... 8 days only to repair this. Fantastic. Actually, I should double check. We can't put better weapons in or anything, can we? Um, don't think so. Pretty sure the LRM-10 streak tier 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine for now. Oh, should we do it here? Yeah, it's pretty cheap. It's only plus 20% more in this, uh, this war zone to repair. It's 50,000 um, per hop whenever we travel. Plus it takes 13 plus 7n days. So, for a cheap repair like that, we're really not worried about leaving the war zone. Just under... actually one hop and we'll have, um, we'll have everything repaired. We don't have any more missions in this place. Local systems are in shambles. Intel on a system where an independent company is trying to get out of the system for good. What's the mission, though? Shoot down the mix of Anders Willman. Uh... 
Unknown rewards. Sure, why not? What's this? Co-op is unlocked. Pretty sure we already had co-op. Twenty-eight days until player character is not tired. I wanted to look at our brand new pilot here. What do we have? Veteran. Classified as veteran. Base pilot skill. Capacities. What does that mean? Chances of injuries taken in combat. Total capacity for positive and negative. I feel like we're missing something here. Training can overcome the innate deficiencies of a pilot. Seek out industrial worlds. Nice. Likelihood to obtain more rare quirks through combat experience. Likelihood to obtain negative quirks when receiving an injury. Chance, chances of injuries taken. Okay. But is quality just... Uh, it's like a tier. Okay. I see. We can only see the pilot records of other pilots, I guess. Nothing left to do in this system. Um, let's have a look at the Jenna. So we got four medium lasers and an SRM-4. Not bad. Pretty good, actually. 35 tons, 113 speed. And what? It's going to be a while before we can tweak engines, I think. Oh yeah, doesn't it have jump jets? It has jump jets. How about the armor district? That is not a lot of armor. And this thing is somehow fully repaired, even though we just got it from that one battle. Eight armor hit points on the arms that have the medium lasers. I'm not a fan of that. Maybe we should... Uh, it is a light mech. I need to remind myself of this. Still, eight is not a lot. Where would we take it from? From Santa Torso? Why does the center torso by default have less rear armor than the side torsos? Make pulse laser boat or riot? I don't have any pulse lasers yet. Myclat, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Gems are about speed, not armor, indeed. But I don't want uh, half of its offensive capability to drop off by accident. That's all. All right. Just a little bit more armor on the on the arms. How long is that gonna take? Two days? Fantastic. Okay. We'll take our boat over this way. Oh. Did we only get to see the cool animation once? Was that actually part of the vanilla game? I think it was, and I just forgot about it. PGI is an interesting game developer you'll come to find. Uh, PGI. I'm blanking on the name, but they made this, yes? Uh, what are we doing? Contracts. Uh, let me just check the timeline, actually. We should have everything ready. Except that I need 15 days to not be tired or bruised or something. It doesn't show... Yes, it does. Bruised. So what does bruised do? Maybe unavailable for deployment. 
Oh, I can change my pilot's name. Uh, and description and stuff. Cool. What, can I? Fantastic. Perfect. Alright, contracts. We're probably just going to have to wait before we start this one. Uh, the job is assassinate. And I think we'll cover 500 grand of damages and try not to go Heavy over that. warning is in effect, Commander. Your visibility and sensor readings will be compromised out there. So does it tell me here? Apparently I can start the mission but while my pilot is still bruised. Um... I'm not clear on exactly what Bruised is going to do. I just want all of you to know I've got your backs. Holy crap, he can go to 13 skill on this. That's pretty good. Untouchable. Increased evasive capacity by 5. It can go up? Damn. Uh, what's this? Presumably that's offensive. Rayclaw, you're here to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Any mods installed? Indeed. Here they are. Um, should I wait or should I just go? I wonder... Deployed tonnage 85 out of 145. Well, guess what? We don't have pilots. Wait, we can't get pirate... Pirates? We, ca we can't hire pilots yet, can we? No. Okay. I guess we'll try it. See what happens. It may not be entirely clear what's happening. Between us and this company's supplies if he's bruised, leader. he's more likely to take further win. injury, take a bit out, more likely to we'll die in case of mech destruction. Okay. Such is life, indeed. We got a nice cold planet. We can spam heat almost as much as we want. Oh, I forgot to set the AI. Uh, presumably, by default, the AI for the Jenna will be some kind of... something that makes sense for light mech. It's barely scratched. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. Oh, it's dead. Fantastic. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Give me the video game goodies. Acquired. Eight grand and an SRM four ST tier one. I think the eight grand is pretty in significant compared to the weapon. What are you, a diehard villain? We should probably get the tanks first. Small, disposable bits of DPS. Oh, that was bad. 
target destroyed. Round the corner we go. Actually, yeah, no, I think I will go here where I've got some cover. Target acquired. That's a turret. We can ignore that for now. New target, spider. Oh, it's only a spider. That was bad. Target acquired. Should take care of the turret. No, it does not. Should give the spider a little punch, actually. You already losing components? Yeah, I don't think the AI is using the Jenna like a Jenna. The sort of thing we'll tell ourselves. Uh, run away, run away. I don't want you fighting that even more when you've already lost components. Mike up so late? Indeed. What time is it for Mike? Is he stuck? I think he's stuck. Bruh, I think I should drive the Jenna. I don't think the AI is that much improved. I'll just double check I didn't leave it set on Brawler or something. He seemed to be piloting it right in the last mission. Also, why does it keep showing me the, uh, the javelin? We're not using the javelin right now. Okay. Spider salvage, don't care. Oh, we can find a mech, just like in vanilla. Rugged. Uh, I kind of want to mouse over and see what rugged and difficult ejection means. I mean, I can guess what difficult ejection means. We don't have the salvage. We're, we're one point short on the salvage rights to take this new mech. Unfortunate. We can take some tier one auto cannons and machine gun. Uh, small lasers, last I checked, were kind of silly. Actually, they kind of have, like, the same DPS as medium lasers, weirdly enough, in this version. Maybe the mods make it different. Uh, it'd be nice if it told us DPS. Three times... Uh, it tells us the cooldown instead of the rate of fire. Oh no, there's the rate of fire. 16.842, 50.52 per second. I can't see a medium laser here to compare it to. Alright, let's just take the things we need spares of and the stuff that's most expensive. Um, I guess... Small laser... No, we need spare SRM2s just in case. Bruised 25 days, bruised 15 days. Fair enough. Damage pierced through structure. Recovering from previous image. Uh, in injuries. Damage pierced through structure. 
I guess that means he got hurt even though his cockpit didn't get blown out or something. He lost an entire leg? Not off to a good start. We got a locust. Gonna need a pilot for that. We need two pilots already, actually. Uh, we got a tier 2 medium laser. Fantastic. Alright. Anything else to do in this system? Doesn't look like it. Uh, is it worth traveling before we repair? Probably not. Actually, this one's pretty messed up. Wait, revert? We didn't lose anything except for armor, right? Repair all. Four days, 37.5 grand. That is nothing. But we will see what we decide with the Jenna first. Because we might hop over to the nearest system for missions. That takes 13 days. Repair all 33 days. Nasty. But isn't the penalty like really, really low here? 30% longer. I don't... 20% more cost. I don't think it's worth uh, going back to the industrial hub for that reason. But maybe we should go back for pilot hire. Third line? What was the third line for? Also, we have a Locust. Double machine gun. That's actually surprisingly good. Unless the mod changed it. What's its DPS like? Uh, 10 per second. As opposed to equivalent tier... One per second? It actually has two lines where it says damage. One is DPS. They're both the same. Except the machine gun costs zero heat and has almost no range. Oh, wow. Uh, I take it back. Machine gun has way more range with the mod. 260 meters, which is half of what we get from the medium laser for the same tier. Literally zero heat. It has an optimal range. Huh. So we're getting damage drop-offs. Uh, but yeah, the machine gun's basically equivalent to the medium lasers, if we're in range. Uh, two lasers, two machine guns. And it's a tiny baby 20-ton mech that can easily get messed up. How far to the nearest? It's literally two hops. Is it two hops to this one? Rare mech? I don't think we're going to have the money to buy any kind of rare mech right now. Full damage out to optimal, drop off to 0% at max. 0%? That's rude. So my ER large lasers are not going to be OP snipers? Unfortunate. Um, I think we'll stay closer to all of these missions. We're not going to be able to afford a new mech right now. I'm pretty sure. And we'll do our repairs cheaper and quicker. Although not by much. We're paying a hundred grand just to go back and forth here. Well, a little bit more actually. But more importantly, we can get pilots. That is a lot of very different looking images. 
Uh, okay, what kind of... They're all green, except this guy's a regular. Potential skill points. Only this guy is even remotely any good. We need two more, though, if we're going to field all of these mechs that we've got, and we probably should. Uh, who's got the best ability to not get exploded? Three out of five defense, two out of three mobility? Holy crap, 174 grand to hire? But the salary is only four grand? So we're really not incentivized to take on pilots temporarily. I don't think I want um, anything less than, say, these two. Okay, so that's like almost 400 grand just to hire these guys. And then a paltry sum for salary. Tech savvy. All the latest toys are based on the same energy systems. What? Increased energy proficiency capacity by one. What does that mean? Boomer? Increased ballistic proficiency capacity by one? Oh, so that just means maximum skill points here? What does this do? Potential for positive quirk. Two out of three already taken. I see, I see. So, the pilot we've already got. We'll you down, Commander. One out of four this. and zero out of one negative quirks. That's actually pretty good. Oh, we can train them. Custom self development retreat designed to elicit one's full potential. 300 grand. Uh. Huh. Increased energy ca proficiency capacity by five. 72 days. Okay. I don't think we'll be spending on that just yet, but that's interesting. Thanks for the opportunity, Commander. Not gonna let you or your company down. Gunman here. Fantastic. Uh, so does that mean we can grow these guys beyond, like, Max 27, max 23 eventually. In any case, I think I'll take these two for now. My combat skills are meant to impress, sir. Fantastic. Great to be on board, Commander. Let's fill some body bags. The stand up. Decreased evasiveness. Decreased ballistics. Well, we don't want that, do we? Luckily I wasn't gonna hire you anyway. Gunman. Okay. Gunman here. Uh, how much does a mech cost? Five mil, two point two mil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was even an urban mech. Uh, we we couldn't realistically buy right now. Even if we weren't hiring pilots. So, are we selling anything? I don't think so. Oh, we could sell some equipment that we don't need. Let's figure out our repair costs first. Repair all... practically nothing. Repair all... Wait, did we put the AI striker? Fast lightly armored units with close range heavy damage weapons such as SRMs. Ideally they flank the target to maximize damage. Stay on a target until it's dead or forced to retreat. Maybe not for the Jenna. If fighting fast enemies, they engage in circle fights or hit and run. If the target is any mech with speed less than 80 kph, the AI will run the flanking logic. Selects a point to the side of the enemy at least 100 meters away. Rushes slash jumps to this point, and once it detects the enemy's rear arc, the AI rushes to engage this rib armor. That is impressive.
Oh, repair cost is minus 50% because this thing's common. That's cool. Um, what about scout? Light recon units used to fight vehicles, turrets, and light mechs. Target preference fast light units. Uh, if it's targeted, they will engage in a circle fight, trying to gain advantage with spins and occasional hit and run. If a slow mech is targeted, it'll engage in hit and run tactics. I th think I prefer that for the Jenna. Look at weapon upgrades. Uh, whereabouts? Yeah, I think I prefer the Scout for these light mechs. This one's already set to Scout. Right side. Weapon upgrades. Right click to upgrade. Need to have four. Oh, I can jam missile I, I can jam weapons together to make them higher tier i think i read that somewhere that's kind of strange to be honest not that i won't take advantage of it all right these two are going to be set to scout this guy probably striker actually no We'll, we'll try setting them to scout. And this guy's a brawler. Alright. We need to commit to repairing this. It's gonna take... Not that much money, but 33 days. It's kind of a lot of money. And... Begin. At least, hang on. Revert. We lost three of our four medium lasers. Bruh. Even after I touched up the armor a little bit. Okay. I think it was probably because the AI was too aggressive or stuck on a wall or something. Alright, so, 33 days until everything's repaired, probably, it's 20 days to get back to a mission, uh, do you in 20 days only, like, a tenth of our money? Do I want to buy or sell equipment? I think, I think so. I'm going to sell all the tier 0 stuff and hope for the best. Oh, that's looking much better. And equipment. Uh, no, we should always have spares for all of this. In fact, I might even buy heat sinks. Heat bank? What is that? Heat banks can accumulate large amounts of heat, but offer no dissipation. Explodes for 10 damage when destroyed. Interesting. Very interesting. I think I'd prefer just going for more heat sinks, though. Like, basically always. Alright, let's browse these missions. We've got... Davian versus Independence. Independence versus Davian. Uh, we're going to be pissing off someone. I'm not seeing any, like, pirates or something. What was our timeline? 33 days. So if we go over here, we'd only have to wait six days. 
Uh, we should just pick whatever mission looks best. Davian versus Kurita. Warzone. Sounds good. What else do we have? Demolition, demolition. Demolitions tend to be um, nasty, actually. You get swamped with a million enemies while you're trying to get the demolition done. Raid, defense, demolition. Uh, I think we'll just commit to the one war zone and see how we go. Biggest potential mech we might see is 50 tons, apparently. Not too worried about that. Even level zero gear isn't just money, even at end game, indeed. For now, though, I do want some spare money because we just bought some stuff and we're like, we're so close to bankruptcy. Oh, I can hire pilots here as well. That would have been good to know. Notice. Uh, and they have higher. Uh, they have higher like, maximum... they have higher potential as well. Rip. It's fine. It's probably fine. Okay. Let's get into a mission. Contracts? Uh, I think we'll go with versus House Curator. They already don't like us, so screw them. Asteroid Belt is currently besieged by invading forces on all fronts. Biome Sulfurous, so probably bad for heat. Anyway, let's go for 400 grand damage coverage and a little bit more money. Alright. Should I take the Jenna myself? On the one hand, I want to see how the AI handles it. On the other hand, the Centurion is by far the mech that the AI will mess up the least. On the other, other hand, I don't necessarily want to pilot a Locust and be out of the fight if it gets easily swatted. I think enemies do prefer to target the player. Who's got the better... Probably Dawson would be ground. better at We're ready to go, not losing this mech, potentially. Here. You have better bullet skills, though. You had a trait for that, right? Increased ballistic Oh, no, never mind. Alright, I think this is the mission. Good luck. You can always switch mechs with Y. Oh, after you get blown away. Yeah, I forgot about that. So we'll be trying to keep an eye on the Jenna. See if the AI drives it a bit better. At any time, that's kind of weird. Although, considering how dumb the AI can be, especially in vanilla, um, it kind of makes sense. Just to trigger this. They've detected your there presence, we go. Commander. I'm seeing multiple tangles on scope converging on your current position. Uh, 
square enemies. Oh, probably don't want to walk over that. There's some. It's a gem. I think I hit his leg. Yes, indeed. Miss. I want to hit its other arm so it has no offensive capability. There we go. Oh, that's nasty. I think we'll skip using the uh, night vision on this planet. How's the volume? Try page down? What does that do? Oh, wow. Is that from a mod? I think Mech Warrior 2 Mercs had something like this. It's also making the artillery quieter, I can definitely appreciate that. That's nice. That's very nice. I'm blue, da -ba -dee -da -ba -da. Gunman here. I've got a contact. I wish when you pressed uh, center legs to torso. It would center it, center it to where the torso was facing at the time. Target destroyed. New target, Phoenix Hawk. We're on your target, Commander. Oops. I think I messed up. Okay, that's not helping my accuracy. good angle unless I'm going to stomp the stuff I'm supposed to be protecting. Oops. Yeah, no. I think, uh, I think I'd better go around this way. Recognize that outline. The target ID received. Engaging. Well, that was quick. Didn't quite overheat. Stick around as long as you like, but don't get too overconfident. Enemy forces still have a sizable hold of this area. Fall back to the mark now point when you're ready for evac. Let's head towards it so we can leave if we bite off more than we can chew. That pilot voice is very bloodthirsty indeed. The night monarch, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. 
The small things are easy money. But we don't want to leave with too many... with too much damage. Apparently the locust is almost... Oh, it's full health. Wow. It's barely been scratched. Yeah, we're, we're in really good shape, actually. I don't know if the mods will change it, but... Uh, in the vanilla game... Enemies won't keep attacking that once the mission is finished. They'll keep coming for us. Reconnaissance flights show increased enemy presence in the vicinity. Be on the lookout for further hostiles. That is... Take. The pilot intro is happy to be a board commander now. Let's fill some body bags with a serious twist in her voice between the first and second parts of that line. Lovely. They actually never attack that in this type of mission. They only attack you. Oh, really? Why was our LRM not going up? That was weird. Oh, I think I was trying to lock on it like a million kilometers, though. Okay, you know what? Let's not wait all day for a couple of tanks. Contract successful. Time I didn't really get a chance to see how the AI drove the Jenna, though. Isn't a defense target, it's a fake target specifically to draw out enemies. Indeed. Alright. So we only had superficial damage. We can probably go straight into another battle pretty quickly. Uh, should we take and sell a spider? Maybe. Like the fake armies used in... World War II to draw bomber fire. Indeed. Maybe we should work towards making another Jenna. We need seven, right? Seven of these before we can pay a bunch of money and wait to build a Jenna. Maybe I should just buy one somewhere instead. Phoenix Hawk uh, might be good though. 55 tons, we'd need 11 of these. So we'd need to blow another Phoenix Hawk apart. And then we'd have to assemble it. Pay a lot of money and wait. I think I won't worry about that until I see something I really like. So let's take the spider to sell. And whatever's the most expensive for one share cost, probably SRM ammo, apparently. Sure. Does ammo still work just like a component? That's like, you don't have to keep track of it, it'll just get destroyed or not. Like, in the campaign, as opposed to during a mission. Squishy but decent damage output. The AI likes to get its arms blown off, indeed. Salvage is hands down the best way to earn money. It's super broken if you hard focus it. Yeah. Yeah, I ended up almost always putting everything into salvage. Or like one point into insurance. Which, in this case, definitely should have gone into salvage. We took almost no damage. Uh, let's get our mechs repaired. Oh! I, I completely forgot I got the spider. Um, there's nothing, like, worth tearing out of it or anything, right? No ejection? That's nasty. Can I... here it is. This mech has no ejection system. The pilot has minimal chance to survive if the mech goes down. That is horrible. Easy to maintain. It's only minus 20%. Nimble jumper. Designed to be more effective with jump jets. 
Acceleration, thrust and burn time are all increased. Heat is reduced. Neat. Cramped cockpit. Torso twist, turn speed, acceleration, deceleration modifiers are all down. Unpleasant to pilot. Uh, what is... Why does Locust have a quirk named after it? Weapon cooldown and heat generation reduced. Nice. Weak legs. Max armor is down by two points. So you can't just pour all of the maximum armor into it with a custom build. And make these little chicken legs kind of tough for its size. Small enough that two of its kind are able to fit in the same storage space as one regular mech. Upkeep cost is down 50%. Cool. Improved targeting. Uh, Non-standard parts. Structure repair cost plus 25%. What is this shield? Left arm is designed to be a shield. That's cool. Armor bonus and structure bonus. Plus 24, plus 16. Holy crap. Uh, let me have a look. So the plus 24 is built in, like, even if we reduce this down to nothing. There's at least 24 armor. That's awesome. Re uh, revert. Repair. And that'll do for now. That is a mechanic called Torso Twist. Indeed. Alright. Only one day to repair this thing? Beautiful. Pilots are going to take longer to be ready. Loadout. Repair all. Three days. 25 grand. Cheap as chips. Uh, we're going to sell the spider. For 1.1 mil. Beautiful. Uh, loadout. Wait, wait, what? Drag to equip. We can have five upgrade slots. What? That's not the same as weapon upgrades, right? What what did I click? Loadout upgrades. How does this work? We need some upgrades that we could put in to find out. You earn upgrades through Cantina missions. Is that from the mod, or do I need DLC for that? I thought they were DLC. Longer thrust time or reduced reloads. Okay. Base game. Fantastic. I've never seen a, ca a cantina. And I'm like two-thirds through the game, apparently. Alright, uh, let's queue these up to be repaired. Two days... Three days. You won't until rep level four. Uh, no, I've been at rep level like 11 or 12. Get to rep 4 and they open up. Fantastic. You're like 155th of the way through? It's. An... Do you mean with this playthrough? I was talking about my first playthrough that I haven't finished without mods. Um, it says I've completed Act 2. I killed the bad men what shot up my dad and then I attacked a comstar base or something alright did we queue up all of these um yes How, what's our timeline here four days I think the pilots are going to be worse off this is ghost. Uh, ghost 
pilot roster. Resting one day, four day, four day, three. Perfect. Alright. What kind of missions do we have in this system still? Uh, we've got demolition and demolition. Beautiful. This guy looks trustworthy. The people of Anguilla 5 are on the verge of rioting against the local government. So... Beat them with a stick. And then we've got... Decimate the forward base. Sure. Let's try that one first. And... Max out salvage, probably. What's the damage coverage? 400 grand. If it's anything like the last mission, most of that is going to go to waste. Mission starts in four days. Everyone's going to be rested. Fantastic. The game is super long. You've done a chunk of one mission line. One out of like 30 mission lines. None as expense. Yeah, this is not my main playthrough. Um, all right. I think this is as good as it gets. Let's -a go. What was it? Page down. Fantastic. Those are some cold battle mix. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems phenomenal. We have been ordered to destroy the forward operating base at the marked nav point. Prepare for a fight, Commander. But remember, the primary objective remains the destruction of the base itself. Amusingly, they will actually change colour as their mech heat rises. I would have thought it would rise like when the reactor's turned on. At least a bit. It's actually kind of neat, indeed. Something I haven't tried yet, um, if I find the right mech for it, maybe a fire starter. Uh, but just go all in on flamers and try and cook those energy dependent mechs. Watch out for the trash can of doom. Oh, another Phoenix Hawk. We probably could have started bi- ow! We probably could have started building one already, like after this mission. If I'd salvaged that other one. Everyone chill up here for now. Let's have them waddle up to us, if possible. On station. See if they're dumb enough to let us pick them off one by one. I definitely don't want my light mechs running straight into an urban mech. Whoops. Yeah, they are coming to us. Oh, that's another urban mech. Get its weapon. I think I got it. Another Irby. Add one more to my kill count. Hit the big gun as soon as possible. Did we get it? Nope. Not yet. Target acquired. I think the, that tank is getting stuck. Nope, never mind. Yeah. 
Oh, it's got two auto cannon twos. Never mind. I thought it was auto cannon twenty. Can you hurry up and eject? Come on now. There you go. Definitely worth overheating a bit right now. Even if I... Yeah, there we go. Even if I shut down, if I knock his weapon off first, it's well worth. There are aircraft coming. Good shot. Let's get to stomping. Herbies can be scary. They can always be scary. If they have an auto cannon 20. That was a mistake. Not by me. Any me mech down indeed. Let's get to more stompy stomp. Keep on smashing. They are hurt, but our contract calls for us to wipe them off the face of this. Smashy smashy. I'm not really worried about a spider. Show me something special. We gotta keep smashing quickly as well, otherwise we'll fight infinite mechs. The area is down to half capacity. Keep going. Oh. Maybe be a bit more careful of those. Why does the administration building have explosives in it? Plane tank? What is this, Command and Conquer? Don't run into me. Don't explode on me. I hear aircraft, but I don't see aircraft. Just a wee bit more, Commander. This complex is on the verge of collapse. Just a wee little bit more destruction. I think the walls count. Get a bit more access through here. I think there's a locust behind me. That's a fire starter. We don't want to mess with that. Oh, it was our locust. Fantastic. And they do seem to be piloting the light mechs properly. Excellent. Oh, didn't get him yet? Smashy. 
I wish I had a machine gun. Maybe this will damage the mech. We don't have time. New target, flee. Flee, the mouth. Oh, that's not a flea. Missed. Yeah, my, my fists don't heat me up. I'm not too worried about that. Need to finish the smashy smash. I don't know how much that wall counts for. There we go. Completely destroyed this area. Great work. Best get to the evac point now before more reinforcements arrive. That's a wrap. Our employers will be pleased. Nice suit. I'm very pleased with the AI. Flamers are good. You can kill any weight class with them. Indeed. Lemus. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I mean, they do have insane DPS. Uh at the small cost of being close enough to get swatted in half a millisecond. Uh, we've actually got a lot of choices to take a salvaged mech. Should I put someone in an Irby? Uh, a couple of auto cannon twos isn't bad actually, but like... Well, it says the speed is zero. I don't know how much... Their top speed is like 30 or something, normally, right? I'm gonna lurk here while I work on my 3D printer. Nice. Enjoy. Let me know how it turns out. Uh, It looks like both of those Urbies we killed didn't have autocannon 20s. Thank goodness for that. Should probably take a spare heat sink. No, I should just buy them whenever I get the chance. Alright, what's the best cost to share ratio here? Probably... Probably one of these two. And we have four points left over. Let's just take the LRM-10s and a couple of medium lasers. Fatigued, bruised for 23 days. Maybe I should have a spare pilot already. How long would our repairs take? Six days, 10 days, 10 days. And three days, that's nothing. Yeah, maybe I should... I, I think we can hire pilots here, Wait right? On board, Commander. I think we'll hire one while we're here. Let's sell the broken spider. It's not actually very broken. Just how broken is it? Okay, yeah, it's kind of broken. <laughs> Oh. I didn't realize repair all would repair every mech. 
I should have double checked if there were no weapons missing or something. Uh, this is fine. Alright, barracks. What do we got? Uh... Pretty cheap salaries, but pretty big upfront cost. Although we're not that worried about it right now. Um, what about your potential, though? Level 8 on missiles already? That's pretty damn good. Increased missile proficiency capacity by 1. I have, like, what, one mech that uses missiles right now? You've also got good ballistic and energy, and shielding compared to... Yeah, no, you're, you're, you're our new ace, actually. Uh, do I want to check the others? Probably not. That's good DACA, but we don't have a DACA mech. No, this is, this is the easiest choice. Oh. Potential for one positive quirk and three negative quirks. Uh... On the one hand, on the other hand? Also terrible, terrible ballistics, but that's okay. We can usually go lasers and missiles only. Oh, you're the missile enthusiast. They all have... This guy can't have a positive trait and only room for one negative. No, I think we'll still take Dobbs. Alright. Fantastic. And then we take the one mission left in this place. Another demolition. Uh, we're already repairing all of these. We've got... One... All right, now for the fun part. Exactly one healthy pilot. Everyone else is resting, but we need to work on the mechs anyway. Your crap at guns, uh, but very, very good at missiles. That is a lot of avoiding. I think I'll put you in the Jenna. Even though this guy has a bit of... A bit of uh, experience in the Jenna. Speaking of which... Record in Centurion. Five missions, still below average. Okay. So we really do have to keep people in the same mechs as much as we can. But that should be fine for now. Let's wait ten days. And away we go. Another demolition. Looks like it's going to be a very dark mission. No, that's not that bad. Our target is an industrial complex marked on your tactical display. Our employer wants it gone, and we aim to please. Light that complex up like a New Year's celebration, Commander. I'll be there in a minute. I'm sure we'll be attacked before that. Nice attention to detail in the cockpits. here. Target acquired. Warning. We have hostile mechs closing 
You don't say. Target identified. Bring it down. Leave nothing left for them to salvage. Well, that was easy to get to. Oh, I probably should have smashed into that building there. Oh, that's an Irby. Oh god. It's got auto cannon too, so we're fine. Really see what I'm doing here. There we go. Fantastic. Kind of plot there. In fact, I'm going to shut down for a moment. Okay, that's rude. Oh, it was from behind. Fantastic. Smashy smash. Someone's got to focus on smashing. We shall. You've managed to demolish about half of the target's buildings. Crack on, Commander. Missed. Oh, that was better. Did I hit him or what? There we go. We's gonna smash him good. That didn't take long. Getting a few little hitches since installing the mods, but it's nothing too severe. Whoops. That is not where my torso is facing. Was any component damage. Mission complete. It's still it's still showing the um uh what do you call it? Javelin. We could take an Irby for only four share cost? It's only seven hundred grand to sell it though. It's in pretty bad shape. Take the tier one medium lasers. Yes, please. Um, and as for the rest, I guess we'll just go for the money. Probably better if we have a spare machine gun. Oh, we can literally take everything. No decision was needed this time. Everyone's fatigued for three or four days. Uh, we took significantly more damage this time, but nothing serious. 
And that's the end of the missions in this uh, system. What is this? We've provided you a list of elite pilots spread across the inner sphere. Aside from the fact that each pilot is highly skilled, they have their own scores to settle, many of which have already organized contracts for. We have a vested interest in seeing your company grow. Take advantage of these situations. Uh, accept the contracts we put together for these individuals and use your generous help as leverage in convincing them to join. Oh. Filling your halls with elite pilots can only be a good thing. Yes, indeed. You can run these pilots down now or address them when they come up, we'll notify you of their contracts and last known locations. Fantastic. Objective updated list. Well, there's nothing. There's nothing more to do yet. And of course, we need to keep increasing our rep. Uh, what else do we have here? GTE. Is that from the thing I just took? Gather the elite. Yes. Seem like the type is always looking for a good opportunity. Low risk, high reward offer. Sounds too good to be true. Indeed, it does. Fair distance from the usual travel routes. A million bucks. List adder. Chainsaw. I sort of ran afoul of Solaris Underground Fight Promoter. Settle my debt with a mech duel. Spay the details. Vindicator, that's like 45 ton. They upped the ante for my opposition to a full lance and my old crew that was going to back me up in the fight has suddenly bailed. Lovely. Um, so what do we got here? Out of ten? Um, damn. Is that... Are all of the elite pilots going to be like this? Yeah, looks like it. We get a mech and a pilot and a tier five weapon. Times two. A hatchet. Nice. Alright, we probably don't want to try those just yet. Um, so there's nothing left to do in this system. Question is... Sell the Urby. Uh, question is... Should we repair here, or should we hop back to an industrial hub? Six days, 43 grand. Three days, 11. Eight days, 54. Three days, 24. Pretty sure it won't be worth our while to go back to the industrial hub. We should just go for more missions. So what have we got here? Uh, verse House Kurita, fantastic. I guess we can bully the independents a little bit. Yeah, we could probably take all three of those. Alright, let's repair. Not missing any components or anything. Repair all. Fantastic. And let's hop on over. Wait, what was that? I thought I, I misread something. Never mind. Okay. Away we go. Wait, let me double check the timeline. Got all our mech refits. Pilots will be ready in a few days. Fantastic.
Nice. What do we got? Um, I doubt it would change, but I guess let's do this one while we still have plus one rep here. Plus one uh, negotiation points. Assassination. You know, we've been taking so little damage compared to late game numbers. Um, I don't think we need to go for the dam uh, damage coverage. We'll take C bills after salvage. Okay. Do I want to use the other pilot at all? Wasn't... Uh... Reynolds, weren't you piloting the Javelin before? Yes. So let's do that. Away we go. This group has proved to be a nuisance for our employers. We're tasked with making sure that we find them and put them in the ground. Good hunting, everyone. Locate and kill all targets. This one's kind of close, actually. They may or may not be here. New target, Urban Mac. Another double AC2, uh, Urby. I'm not seeing our targets at this location. You know what? Point. We might have more luck there. Go in peace, Erby. You can you can stay there. Nope. Never mind. Irby? We did, that was fast. So where's our... Where's our target? Oh, there target, you are. Shadow Another Shadowhawk. Oh wait, I was thinking of Phoenix. And... Oh. I think we should go down there, get everyone else in range. I don't think we have a range, uh, much of a range advantage here. Oh, that's another Abby. Let's give us some love. Still up. I thought he was ejecting. Okay. I haven't taken that much damage yet. I don't 
don't really have time for you. Shoot. Unarmed. There we go. Let me through the wall. Regrouping it requested. Let's head over this way and get out in the open. Where we can kind of more easily deal with the tanks. Those are helicopters. Target destroyed. Target acquired. At the requested position, Commander. I think there's still a tank chasing us, but Falling in file it's fine. Commander. Target. Take them out. New target crab. Well, that's a bit bigger than us. Ah, the bosses are tearing me apart. Well, that was easy. He's not doing himself favors by trying to by turning his back to us either. Fast. That's one less target to worry about, Commander. Keep it up. We've got an all of them, Commander. Good job. That bounty is ours. Fire Where's our evac? Put a case of Timbiki Dork when you get back to the ship safely. Acquired. Target destroyed. Legs are not facing where I thought they were. There we go. And that's a wrap. What? What? No, no. Why didn't the dropship shoot you? We do. Uh, not quite enough salvage to take. What is this? SHD Shadowhawk, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle Fists, improved life support, rugged, ubiquitous. And we already have a locust. That's a lot of different salvages. Locust, crab, urban mech. Fantastic. Right, we've only got four spare heat sinks. I keep forgetting to look for them um, at the shops. We'll take this guy to sell, and 
grab all the rest. Actually, this is such a small amount, I think I will take a couple of spare heat sinks. Okay. That's not too bad. Only 500 damage on the locust. Uh, 500 e bills worth of damage on the locust, rather. It literally took three damage. Nicely done. All right, we have two more contracts here. It's not like they disappear if we wait a while. I was half expecting the mods to add something like that. Where the missions waiting for us weren't just static. Oh wait, I was gonna... Let's just have a look at these. We can just repair it all. Fantastic. Alright, ten days until the Centurion is repaired. I think all of our pilots... Thanks for the opportunity, Commander. Not gonna let you or your company down. Are ...ready much sooner than that. Fantastic. We can buy equipment here in the black market. Uh, AC ammo double? A double bin of ammunition for the auto cannon 10. Two tons. Ammo explosion damage 10 per round. That could be a lot. So, there's literally no downside, it just takes up less space. Hmm. Or maybe there's less... No. Oh, we can buy an engine core. We should... Oh, that's a lot. 1.7 mil. Engine core 200, isn't that what's in our 50 ton mech? Maximum mech speed is calculated according to engine rating over mech tonnage, blah blah blah. Fusion engines function. So I'm not clear on whether this is restricted for different mech weights or not. It's kind of a lot of our money, and there's three of them, so I don't think they're going to be hard to come by. I think we'll just dive into the next... Oh, this is going to drop the independence back to plus one. Should we skip it? Nah. We should probably do the House Curator one before we attack them, though. Alright. All the salvage, as usual. And... I think we're good to go. Better grab some water, actually. Well, this is taking longer than expected. your allies under siege. I like these missions. Ooh, free stuff. 
and then get the hell out of there. We will be on standby, waiting for your instructions. Good hunting. Tech Priest Glitch Wits. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh. So kind of you to let me see you. That was quick. Oh, friendly helicopter. I haven't seen one of those before. I, I thought all helicopters were evil. Also, what's it shooting at? It is shooting, right? Is that just an animation error, or... Maybe there was a tank here or something. Just a javelin. Oops, that was close. It, don't cross my field of fire, how dare you. A little bit too close for long range missiles. A little bit bad at leading targets. Hey, it's an Obi. What do we got? Double AC2. That's probably preferable if we're out in the open like this. I could put some LRMs on the Jenna, but... Since the AI actually knows what to do with it, uh, I'm not as concerned. Oh, that's a Centurion. That is as big and stompy as me. Rip, helicopter. Maybe you should have waited for us. Straight between its arm and its torso. It's got a long, large laser. It's pretty hard to miss with a large, large laser. Let's hit that first. This is so much easier than the first two missions. Oh, I don't have that much range with my LRMs, whoops. Is that Irby? Yeah, Irby is sniping like crazy. Target acquired. That's a good shot. Irby's not sniping very well though. It looks like it doesn't account for drop or something. Additional bog is setting an intercept course on your position. SRM 40. Good grief. Let's not get too close to that one. Is it dead or is it still coming? this commando commander yes run into my fists he's got a large laser That's a big boy gun. Yeah, literally just two medium lasers on these things. That is... not enough. Hello. 
Jenna's in my way. It's fine. We have satisfied our contract and have a narrow window to evacuate. I think we will try for more money here. Everyone's like basically unscratched. My mech's by far the most damaged, and look at it. And we have Irby to help us. Target acquired. Oh, we got 900 range on these LRMs. Where'd they go? Target bro. Gunman here. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Fantastic. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. That's another forty Target grand. Acquired. Where'd that tank go? Did Irby get it? Nope. I see nothing. It's a pretty moon. What do we got? Cicada? A worse Jenna? Oh, it's got a peeper. That's a little concerning. Five grand, not bad. Everyone's still very healthy. Here is a mech. Need to get rid of that PPC. Try to turn away from it right before he shoots. Oh, we got it. We've pushed our luck long enough. We've taken like almost no extra damage and we got another 130 grand. Cavalry is here, Commander. Prepare for mech extraction. Target acquired. I was drinking water and the dinosaur scream spooked me. <laughs> no worries, my bad. Welcome in, Tech Priest. All right, we got a machine gun. 
that extra 130 grand was actually a pretty significant chunk compared to this, but that's discounting the uh, salvage. We could take a... what is this? Oh, Centurion, hell yes. Why is it 51.94 tons? Uh, whatever the case, we'll definitely take a spare Centurion. And here, I suspect, is the part where I should have bought one of those engine cores when I had the chance. Unless I can get one in this system. We don't have any tier 1 plus stuff over here. We've got a million spare class 5 jump jets. I might take a heatsink. Sometimes you lose a lot of heat sinks. Alright. Bruised 22 days. That's unfortunate, but we've got a spare. Only 54 grand worth of damage. Can we get... We can get an engine core here. So I don't think we can repair our new Centurion without it. Uh, let's see. Repair all. Engine core 200. Yeah. We also need a large laser. Uh, as opposed to an auto cannon. I think we can maybe skip the small laser. It's pretty, pretty garbage, honestly. Well, let's compare its DPS at um, 0 0.914 per second for a tier 0 medium laser. Uh, ever so slightly less for a small, but it only has a max range of 240. It's kind of like a bad machine gun that... Uh, that generates heat. Almost. I think I'd rather put on more armor or something. Also, the mech is over tonnage. Um, is that something we can just do? And what's the penalty for it? Or is it saying it's over tonnage because something broke or something? Well, let's... whatever the case... Let's buy an engine core. Maybe I should get a couple of spares. We've got some money, why not? Uh, all of these can be repaired right quick. And I should have checked, but I guess repair all does the active hangar. And then we'll go to loadout, repair all. I forgot I was going to buy a large laser. Maybe repair all skips it if it can't replace everything. That would be fantastic. Double small, double medium. I think I like the machine gun version better. Engine core 160. So yeah, they are for different weight classes. Uh, what was I looking for? Laser. Purchase. Uh, this is everything. This is everything this black market has for us, weapon-wise. Okay. Maybe we should wait on repairing the Centurion? Um, it does cost upkeep. Also, what can we replace? Everything except the large laser. It's actually just barely under tonnage. 
Oh no, never mind. Wait, wait, wait. Revert. Fifty-nine point, fifty-one point nine four. Repair everything. Forty-nine point nine four. So presumably, uh, there is something that it's missing that effectively add adds weight to it. I don't know. Should we repair all and put a laser in later, or...? I've never used the cold storage mechanic. Cold storage. Moving your mech to cold storage will strip it of all weapons and equipment. But presumably our uh, maintenance cost for that mech is gone. Uh, stream. There we go. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Battle maps. Chuck it in cold storage. And that's it. Oh, I forgot to check, but I'm pretty sure our maintenance cost just went down. Right click for menu. Move to mech bay, sell scrap. So I can just move this back and forth whenever I want. I remember paying a bunch of money and waiting a while to strip a mech. Apparently I could have done it instantly like this. Oh no. Wait, didn't this thing have no weapons or anything anyway? Whatever. Uh, so this lets us not pay the maintenance cost for this mech. So now we're on a quest f to find a large laser. How heavy is an SRM-4, by the way? Uh, maybe I'll check next time. Okay. Should we do the final mission in this system? Before we hop? Oh, uh... Probably... Yeah, I don't think we're going to pay 300 grand in repairs. Not at this stage in the game. Mission starts in only six days. Let's get our spare pilot in. This is awesome, more the best. Bring it on. Good grief. And I think that's it. Away we go. Enemy forces have a number of command centers scattered across the region. Our employer has contracted us to take these facilities off the board. Advance on the Mork nav points and eliminate the targets. We'll be standing by ready for evac once the mission is complete. That looks cool. Alright, it's probably better visibility. Also, just a bit easier on the eyes. I'm detecting unidentified mechs in the area. Moving in to investigate. But where are you? Can we get free treasure? No treasure today. So this is actually one big hill of a map. Target acquired. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Destroy targets at all locations. 
very well. Apparently the ground is surprisingly cold right next to this molten rock. That's an Irby. Double AC2 again. Not too scary. Better get out of the way of my lance mates. And they might just run directly into where the Irby is. Maybe not the plan I would execute in a light mech. Can I stomp this? Or I'll just punch it. You know what? I can't see very well how damaged the mech is. This. There we go. Yes, it is. Just one more to go. What's chasing us? An SRM-40 tank. That's terrifying, actually. No treasure. Oh wow, you can actually see the plants growing in there. Very nice. I kind of assumed those were some strange little houses. Did you already lose an arm? No, we're good. Another javelin. Oh, that was not the best shot. Is it just this building right here? Stompy, stompy. That's a more scary Target urban map. Things have been destroyed, Commander. Good job. Getting you an evac now. Head to the Mort location. Where are we going? Over this way? Oh, I think the Irby's shooting at me. Target acquired. That big gun that I shot, he has the same one. Trying to shoot his gun off, but I don't really have a good angle. Oh no. Oh no. And I lost my big gun first. Maybe that was not the best strategy. What else have we got here? Helicopter. I got it! And an assassin. Target assassin. It has to be the player that walks into the finish the mission zone. It doesn't matter where everyone else is. Just leave. Oh crap. I thought I was about to back into it. This is Ghost. Enemy mech destroyed. 
Nicely done. We are almost at level 5 rep. Alright, we got some better small lasers. Maybe I'll put that on the locust. Uh... Slightly better SRM2 for the Jenna. We've only got three spam. Oh, it's tier zero, never mind. Let's just sell the Assassin. And we've got one more point left. I know I just lost an auto cannon 10. That's not an auto cannon 10. I think we'll take the SRM2 as well. Fantastic. You've got a negative. What does big stick mean? Let's find out. Barracks. Pilot Rostera. Uh, was it Dobbs? Big stick. Wants the biggest gun they can find and never practices with missiles or lasers. Decreased energy and missile proficiency capacities by one. Those were the things that you were good at. What? What do you mean? How are you able to get this quirk if you had these stats to begin with? Bruh. Did we finish everything in this place? We did. So maybe we'll go back to repair. Get that quirk removed. I think we can do it in an industrial hub. Gunman here. You're not the only one with negative quirks, actually. Pilot refuses to remove the shorted sparking bug zapper from their cockpit. Decreases heat management and energy proficiency capacities by two. Bruh. Overconfident. Decreased ballistic and shielding capabilities. Bravna. Great to be on board. Gunman here. For the I think those are all of the negative traits. Alright, let's go get them sorted. Uh, and maybe we can get that Centurion patched up properly as well. First, bef ooh, 40, ma 40 tons, that's not that bad. What do we got here? I was going to sell it, but... We need an engine core... And we would have... That's kind of weak, especially for 40 tons. A medium laser... Oh, we have two energy slots here. Two medium lasers, but they're on one arm, so that could just get shot off. Couple of melee attacks. Or missile slots. If we really wanted to... Well, I don't have four LRM5s, but... Technically, we could spam four LRM5s. Which are weirdly... Weight efficient. The 5s and the 15s are... A bit lighter for the... For what they do. Compared to the 15s and 20s. Uh, revert. SRM2, LRM5, two medium lasers if I subtract, like, a ton of 
armor or something? Um, maybe a heat sink? Does this thing even have a heat sink? I could do half ammo. Um, but yeah, it's only the built-in heat dissipation. Well, if we're losing 1.65 heat per second, two mediums is less than one. It's probably already got enough uh, heat sink, actually. It seems like we get more with this mod, or at least some mechs do. Um, alpha damage, no melee. What does that mean? Oh, as in how much damage we would do if we hit with all of our weapons? Yes. Hmm. I'm thinking put another medium laser on it. Give it some half ammos, which I don't know if we have right now. I'll need to buy, like, LRM ammo half, SRM ammo half. And we need an engine core 280. I need to actually find that first. Hmm. Toss it in cold storage? We've only got 1.4 mil right now. Maybe I should sell it. Sells for 1.9. Yeah. But it's an upgrade for someone. I could sell one of these mechs. One, that's 1.2 mil for a locust. So sell the loc- well, okay, first of all, we need to find that component. Toss it in cold storage? I think I will. Alright. Uh, I believe we've got no auto cannon 10 to rep Oh, we do. Fantastic. Nice and easy. Uh, should we start that now, though? We should probably fly over first. To the industrial hub. Alright. So we're looking for engine core 280. And I think we have engine core 200s lying around. Yeah, we got a we got three spare two hundreds. Oh, a three hundreds, I think it was. Alright, back to... That's three hops. We're at rep four now. We could keep stomping things here. Or we could hunt larger game. One, two, three hops to go over here. One, two, three hops to go over here. I have a feeling that these two don't connect. Uh, let's go back this way. For the moment. And I want to see if we can fix those negative traits. This is gunman. Training. Ineligible. Because... Because of the negative traits. Rehabilitation. Here we go. 
93 days? That's so much. I guess we're supposed to have a bigger roster, because I'm pretty sure the salaries are significantly lower than in, in vanilla. Hmm. A hundred grand, sixty-one days. Who do we have that we can hire? Oh, this is the face of one of my good pilots last time. I will be waiting in the ready room, Commander. Tech savvy, love of lasers. Increased heat management and energy proficiency. Capacities. Cool, cool, cool. This is ISIS. This is what? Seen enough combat to know how to handle the hits. Increased shielding capacity. Knows way too much about missile systems to be healthy. <laughs> nice. But we don't have any missile boats just yet. Uh, we can't afford to throw our money around that much right now. I think we'll have to just hold on to our, our dodgy pilots for the moment. Oh, here we go. Energy core, or engine core rather. I think this is everything but what we need. 380, 355... Does it tell us, like... Well, it tells us how heavy they are. 190. We need 280. Two eighty. Does it specifically have to be 280? Or can we, like, jam a 275 in there? Let me just check if it'll let me... I could put a 200 in here. Interesting. So presumably that's a bit lighter and the mech would be a bit slower? I think we'll just... Hmm, should I sell it? It's two mil. That would... That would let us sort out our pilot situation. So, yeah, I think I will do that. And then we want to hope to find a large laser. We have a large laser. It's only 95 grand. We could go a PPC instead. It's a little harder to use. It's a lot more money, which is all my concern right now. I think I will get a spare large laser or two. What is a B laser? Binary laser. High powered energy weapon with long range and very high damage, taking two large laser cores and fusing them together? Uh, I guess we don't have sizes for weapons, like small, medium, large hard points with this. What's the damage? 16. Damn. Range is 450 to 900. Oh, it's tier 1, so yeah. Damn, maybe I should get this. Wait, what's the weight? Nine tons versus five. Yeah, we can't squeeze that in right now. I think we'll leave that for the moment. 
Thumper cannon. So many options. So many possibilities. Long Tom artillery. Lots of stuff I haven't played with. All right. Uh, first of all, let's get our mech fixed up. Repair all, including the large laser. I think I'll drop the small laser. Give it some more armor, perhaps. We're actually already maxed out on armor. In that case, with our half ton, we shall... Uh... How about LRM ammo half? Nope. Hmm. What if... It's not like I'm going to find a 9 ton engine, right? Nothing fancy I can put in right now. I guess we'll just have to live without... Well, I'm obviously just going to put the small laser back in for the moment. I guess. If we're, if we're going to have that or literally nothing, we may as well. It might get blown off, so I'll just put a crappy one in. Stompy robots, indeed. Flesh stick. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nice name. Uh, I might put better medium lasers in, though. Those are not very likely to get destroyed. Optimal range 283, up to 567. That's quite... Good, actually. And then... That's going to be our mech for now. Start work. 1.4 million... One and a half million? It's our second 50 ton mech. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, and then we need to... Repair all. Fantastic. I already checked that we had the replacement for the Auto Cannon 10. I might have the bots drive. Uh, the one with the Auto Cannon. Oh, it's got an LRM 10 streak, though. I like that so much better. Maybe I should have checked before I queued this up if we had another one. I think we do. We do. I could have put LRM10 streak on that one. Okay. Am I supposed to just accept all of these? Or... Like, will it wait for us indefinitely? Probably. Uh, I'll just hold on to it for now. Otherwise, it'll be easy to forget about it. Alright, are we buying anything else? Oh, we could just have bought an assassin. And it would actually work. That's, uh, that's always an option. It's 5 mil, though. This one that costs 2 mil is obviously broken. Oh, isn't that the one I just sold? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not buying any mints right now. Should I buy anything else? We're really low on money. I don't think so. If anything, I should be selling. Um, price? I don't think... I don't think we're quite that desperate. Let's just go get some more jobs. We've got... Uh, 
annoying the independence again or not? I want my standing with both of these to be good, so let's just not with this one. How about Sturgis? Bully House Curita? That's only one mission though. Uh, not a fan of that one. Outworlds Alliance. We could do both of these. I don't think we get many missions from these guys. It's 34 days and 200 grand away though. And then we pay 200 grand in bills before we even get there. But... We can do two missions in one place. Let's go for it. And then we'll be closer to moving over here as well. Probably move on from this uh, stomping ground after that. Oh my goodness. I feel like the little lurches like that are getting worse as I keep playing. Uh, like in one play session with the mods. I've noticed a lack of House Steiner. Um, they're way over here. So when you focus, when you play, I don't know if it'll change it, but without mods, um, you start like here-ish, and basically you go in a big clockwise circle, and everything gets tougher and tougher. Like higher, higher tier stuff, more mech tonnage, etc. Because that makes sense. Anyway, let's beat up. It doesn't really matter which one of these we do first. Difficulty 8? That's so easy. Let's do the war zone first. And give me all of that. And do we have our Centurion yet, actually? Not for 43 days. I think we'll do the, mesh, uh, the mission now instead. Okay, let's get our Jenna specialist back in here. Well, not Jenna, um, Javelin. This is Gunman. And off we go, I think. Fantastic. Attention. Looks like we'll have good visibility. a lot Enemy forces for my poor eyes. On this area, but we have been tasked with holding them back for as That's long even as worse. Possible. We have substantial combat bonus opportunities the longer you can hold them off. But be sure not to overextend yourself. All right. You know what? With how tight money is, maybe we really should go for as much as we can get. As long as we don't overdo it. As long as we don't lose a component. If we take more armor damage, I'm perfectly happy with that. If it's profitable. Hurry up and trigger the event. There we go. Back to the top of the hill. Oh, here they come. Holy crap, my dude, I just got here. You sound almost like AI. 
Thank you. Gunman here. I've got a contact. What kind of contact have we got? Here he comes. You what? Oh, I missed. Should have kept the missile lock. Jenna's in the way. There we go. Um, am I stuck? Step mech? No, we're good. Stomp, 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 indeed. Tumbling. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Big robot goes brr, indeed. Oh, it's very yellow. Should we stick with blue? I think we'll stick with blue for this mission. Even though mech just disappeared when it was destroyed. That's a locust. We're not too scared of that. Something else is here. What's that? Another locust? Should probably focus one. I think I missed my punch. Fantastic. You can even see the eject. Come back. Don't run, we are your friends. There we go. Friendship achieved. Whoops. Gunman here. Target is toast. Target destroyed. Target acquired. So far so decent. Doesn't look like anyone's taken any real damage. I really have to hand it to the AI uh modder. I mean, to give it a proper opinion, I'll have to see how it handles other types of mechs and stuff, but I would think programming the light mechs to not get themselves murked with the scout setting is probably the more difficult one. I haven't started playing with mods yet, still in my first playthrough. How are you liking the thermal vision? Love it. I, I particularly love that it's like, uh, it's a little bit of nostalgia goggles, it looks it, it looks a lot like it did in MechWarrior 2 Mercs. Um, but also, I mean, warning, this is going to be bright. These are our options for this planet in vanilla. That's a bit harsh. Did I hit him? I definitely hit that. Probably don't want to run straight at me. What do we got? A panther that probably has a PPC. It's indeed. We don't want PPCs aimed at us. So off comes the arm. I believe it's on the right arm. It's all gone now, except for an SRM. Fantastic. That was pretty quick. But we're going for bonuses. Um, the Jenna is a little bit scratched. Where is it? Nah, this is fine. This is fine. I hear helicopter. But I don't see helicopter. There we go. Missed again. Nice and clean, indeed. 
We want long range against that tank. We can. Ooh, that was close. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. Because this makes sense. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. What did we get? Package acquired. Auto cannon ten ammo. I cannot contain my excitement. Only 36 grand? Well, we haven't really taken any extra damage. Where's the evac, by the way? Oh, it's pretty cl It's kind of close. 500 meters. I think there's an achievement for getting to 500 grand. But you have to do it like five times. Okay, if the enemies aren't going to be kind enough to show up, I might just have to leave. DFR author, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm going to give it like 30 seconds. If nothing... Okay, okay. There we go. Let's get away from this... Very, very awkward terrain. Wait, 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 wait. No, I can still just barely see the... It's actually incredibly difficult to see. The border that ends the mission. Where are our enemies, though? Damn terrain getting in the way of giant robots? I know. New target, Phoenix this is gunman. Phoenix Hawk, that's going to be worth something. You call yourself Skull Unit? Are you the baddies? I mean, I know I'm a mercenary, but come on now. Don't particularly want to be machine gunned. Stompy stomp. There goes your arms. Fantastic. I shouldn't have punched it again. Holy... Holy ragdoll back, man. That was, that was too far. I was not expecting that. We're up to 95 grand. How's our damage? Pretty good. Let's see if we can pull them into this crater. Be a bit simpler. Maybe we could do a little ambush. Target acquired. Oh, I got him. You got it, sir. Fantastic. I'm into punching range. One twenty-eight thousand, fantastic. We're still not really damaged. You know what? I think I'll quit while I'm ahead. This is decent. I appreciate the reference, indeed. Contract successful. Time to get paid.
let's go. Colorblind mode? Um, it's heat mode, basically. We are at rep 5. Fantastic. Uh, sure. AC 10 ammo as a reward. I, I'm pretty sure the way ammo works in this game is kind of like a component, right? Like, you can use as much ammo as you want in mission, and that, like, machine gun ammo is going to still be there for the campaign. Could be wrong. What do we got? Nine points of salvage. I want the tier one medium lasers. That leaves us with seven. We could grab a locust to sell. And decent machine gun. Apparently we have zero machine gun ammo. Um, but I'll take the 100 grand LRM 10 instead. Alright, bruised for 22 days. Do we still have a pilot? Let's see. This is gunman. Uh, yeah. Freeman's still healthy. We'll put him back in his Jenna. Okay. And, uh, Junior, welcome back if I didn't say so. Um, so I think we'll sell the Locust. When does this get fixed? 35 days. I can't wait that long, probably. Wait, do I want to strip this? There's only a couple of machine guns. May as well. It's still got its machine guns. I thought it said moving it to cold storage stripped it. Does time have to pass before it decides it's stripped? Whatever. Alright, so no busted components. The SRM4 did take some damage, but it's okay. Repair all. Uh, and it's only four days until all of this stuff is repaired. Literally no damage on the Locust. I am rather impressed once again. Okay. Uh, speak to Rihanna, I guess. It'd be very awkward to control first person. Yeah. New contract just came in, Commander. But before I get to that, I've been digging for more Looks information like on the mercenary bot. group that came after us. Black Inferno are a very nasty piece of work. Not that we didn't already know that. By every account, they operate without regard to civilian rights and protection, raiding and pillaging at will. More like pirates. The locust than looks the most They're like it could be in a. I see them pop up on the mercenary review boards. Like Akira or something. Time, but not with enough frequency to justify their size, wealth, or sheer power. It also makes tracking their movements extremely difficult. I'll keep searching and see what more I can find. Spears said he'll do the same. Good. I want... We all want our pound. So, what about... Yeah, could be interesting. Seems a group of indentured employees, part of the Apex Mining Syndicate, are being taken advantage of and are suffering under horrendous working conditions. In an attempt so it's to a time of day. The, bargaining table. the workers want us to inflict some serious damage on two of the syndicate's more critical mining installations. They Fantastic. Let's do that. Uh, increase your rep. We can do things again. Contracts. Uh, let's bully house Curator some more. 
Uh, when can we start? Four days? Except our ears. pilots are... You know, our, our pilots are fine except for Dobbs. Alright, let's do it. And now we've got a bit more... For the, for the larger paying job, we've got a little bit more negotiation. In fact, we can max this out. Holy crap. Let's do it. Careful, Commander. The sensors are malfunctioning due to the weather, and your visibility you know, on this mission will be compromised as well. Just for something really different, I kind of want to pilot the Locust. Who would be best to pilot the Centurion right now, though? Um... Let's see. It's got to be Dawson. Uh, unless... We got this. No prisoners, no mercy. Yeah, no, it's definitely Dawson. Look at those aggressive stats. I just got the game and have never seen some of the stuff that I've... never seen before. Indeed. Are you running mods? Yes. Yes, I am. Alright, I'm going to give this pilot... The Centurion. You can have the Jenna. I know you like the Jenna. And Reynolds uh, is always piloting the Javelin. And I want to try not getting instantly clapped in a Locust. Let's see if I can do that. Seek and destroy. Let's go. I don't know, my old account was hacked. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sorry about your old account. So we're going from our stompiest mech to our speediest mech. And it does indeed look like a cramped cockpit. Holy crap. Wow. Wow, that is... This is... This is a very different experience. Alright. So we got double machine gun, double... Medium laser. I thought it was small laser. That's good. Destroy targets at all locations. Do we have jump jets? We have no jump jets. We got uh, some free stuff right here that we can grab in record time. Mech Warrior 5 speedrun go. We mech surfing indeed. Zavoxifol, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It doesn't turn that fast. For a light mech, you'd expect more, perhaps. Uh, I don't know if I can, like, walk through... Am I getting shot? I'm getting shot. Oh, I'm bad at this. Oh, no. Okay. Already taken much more damage than the AI would have. I gotta remember my job is scouting. We can let the, the AI stomp this stuff. I'm pretty sure it's automatically gonna do that. Stompy, stompy. There we go. That's one less target. You should run this with flamers and machine gun. Also, if you find a fire starter mech, they are amazing. Uh, flamers on this would be an interesting idea, actually. Oh, whoops. I think I want to swap my weapon groups. Ah, no, no, no. Too slow. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Oh wow, it takes so long to kill a turret. New target 
focused. That's like me. Nope. Uh, I can't accelerate from nothing as fast as I thought I could. More free stuff. And we'll begin the recovery procedure. Hurry up. Cargo acquired. There we go. Whoops. If that didn't damage my mech. What is happening with the frame rate? with an AC-10. I don't want to play with that. Probably focus the objective a bit more. The Jenna looks huge from the Locust. Fantastic. And there's a couple more over here. That's it. We are inbound on marked evac point. Speed run complete. As quickly as you can, Commander. Who's shooting at me? Rude. Dropship on approach, Commander. Prepare and just. I'm going to try restarting the game because this, the frequency and severity of these little hitches seems to just keep increasing. And it's starting to actually get a little bit annoying. What do we got? Another Locust or an Urban Mech Salvage for selling. And that's probably it. Not too bad. Nothing left in this system. Uh, should we go straight towards another mission? What do we got here? I don't really want to... We're, we're, we're kind of picking Curator as just someone we're not going to work for, for the most part. Keep these ones happy. We could maybe let Outworld Alliance hate us. That's only one mission. Uh, we could make Outworld Alliance hate us a little bit less and bully Curator some more. And then we're only one hop from an industrial hub. How long does it take us to repair right now? Let's see. Two days? Seven days? Ten? Three. Fantastic. That was a nice novelty, but I think I'll leave driving this thing up to the AI.
Oh, wait, we're going to have another Centurion in 21 days. Hmm. How ready are our pilots? Uh, pretty ready. I guess we won't be using it for this contract. Yeah, I'm thinking one of the mods introduces a memory leak or something. It seems to be getting steadily worse. I'll just save it real quick. And restart. Once Steam recognizes that we've stopped running the game. Hmm. Interesting. You can always force close it. Oh, there we go. Doing good, you? Yeah, not too bad. Catapult, one of my favorites. The Marauder's not bad either. What mods are you running? These ones. Uh, pilot Overhaul, AI Mod, Armor Green, Heat Gauge, yet another Mech Lab, Weapon, and Clan. Right there. Screenshot away. Alright, let's continue, shall we? And hopefully those lurches have been reset back to almost never and very small. I'm yet to see one of these uh, curator mechs with the swords. All right, we got mission. We got probably sea bills would be better considering the scale of damage that we're at. Oh, it's like three hundred grand anyway. No, it's not quite that much. Actually, yeah, it is more than three hundred grand. Bad oh. news, commander. Extreme weather conditions means you'll be dealing with limited visibility and compromised sensors on this mission. Give me back to Centurion. Uh, what is going on with our pilots? Oh no. Okay. Seems good. Let's get back to it. Recon Specialist. Evasiveness and Shielding. Nice. Untouchable as well. That is 4 out of 15 evasive. That's incredible. You're going to be an excellent scout by the time that we can't use scouts anymore because we only have 4 mechs and the deployed tonnage is like out of 400. And using smaller mechs is like suicide. Maybe the mods will have something to say about that. Anyway, let's get into it. Same here, and I am Rep 9. Warhammer is my chosen one. Problems. Yeah, Warhammer is definitely one of my favorites. Find them and put them down for good. We'll be on standby to evac you once the job is done. My favorite assault mech, uh, from this game anyway, has got to be the Battlemaster. I sometimes call it the Balrog because the, what is it, BLG-1, BLR-1G or something? It looks kind of like Balrog. It's got, uh, I think it's six medium lasers. Hmm. 
Still seeing our targets at this location. Make way to the next nav point. We might have more luck there. Six medium lasers, a missile slot for a small LRM, a large laser or PPC. It's pretty versatile and very good at being an armor wall that pew pews you to death in like two seconds. Hello, Irby. What do you got? Two AC2s? Why was I locked on when I wasn't looking at him yet? The normal mission tons for me are 270. I mainly play the fire starter and melt everything qu Oh crap! There we go. Did we get the Irby? Target acquired. We did not. What's the minimum range for LRMs? I can never remember. Maybe I should punch it. I think I can trust my landsmates to kill that tiny threat. Prefer the Highlander, the Gauss on the arm, and the jump jets are so useful. I haven't seen a Highlander yet. 250, I think. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Oh. Whoops. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Fantastic. I haven't really taken scratches yet. Target sent to hell. Target destroyed. It's hardly even scratched. Do you think they added enough uh, armor to these things? Right, one more nav point left. Walk on up to the treasure to pick it up. Treasure? That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. I think we got it. Payload acquired. My shield arm is a little damaged. Oh, another one. Target destroyed. Give treasure. It looks like a freaking loot box. What is this game? History behind it? Uh, history behind it is it's battle tech. Been around a long time. Um maybe not as well known as your 40ks or what have you uh, but this is Macquarie 5 mercenaries Enemy vehicle destroyed. doing a pretty decent job continuing the tradition of mech games have you played third person or like cheat mode no I'm joking but like no I find it pretty awkward to be honest Especially, I was going to say most modern games that do third person, but really it's like the last, what, 20 years or something now? Way too many third person views in games push the camera way too far to the right. It's really uncomfortable. Fantastic. History. Welp. A few books. Only a few, indeed. Yeah, there's some, uh, some very long lore videos if you're into that sort of thing for Battletech. It's basically... 
It's basically a kind of pessimistic... Uh, what if the future was more or less like this? Um, you've got some space feudalism going on because there wasn't uh, FTL and communications, much less travel, at least for a while. And you've got endless wars over, well, territory and stuff. But there was, what, I think three or four succession wars um, that escalated to such a ludicrous extent that they were exchanging nukes like it was candy. And basically, kind of out of necessity, there's kind of some agreed rules that warfare follows, you know, enforced by everyone slash a central authority-ish. This is the first mech game I've played in about 18 years. The last one I played was called Chrome Hounds. That sounds cool. Chrome Hounds. Yeah, I haven't actually played one since uh, Mech Warrior 2 Mercenaries, which... I was rather surprised to look at it again and see how primitive the graphics were. Alright, we need to get down there without breaking our legs. Preferably. Some jump jets would be nice in this situation, but I don't know. Oh, hello. It's a blackjack. That is not an insignificant threat. That's two blackjacks. A little bit harder to gauge the distance without the rectangle. Um, I want you guys to be careful. I'm at the location, Commander. Blackjacks have kind of a lot of DACA compared to our little baby mix. Four medium lasers and a couple of AC2s. I guess that's not as much as I was thinking of. I'm telling him to focus fire now. Jenna doing? You'd think you would eject when all you had left was a small laser. Oh good. Oh good. Oh good. Oh good. Right on top of us. Why not? Why not? Okay, it's only a spider. And a locust. Let him chew up the locust while I get this guy. And hopefully we can turn around and... Oh, wow, that was good. Hopefully we can turn around and not get shot in the back by the blackjacks. That was quick as well. Even if it was a locust. my AC. Where'd the others go? I'm a bit worried. Did we, did we get them already? 
I know we got the Phoenix Fog. Did my little squad mates already down a blackjack? No, don't go that way. There we go. I might have piloted him. We fulfilled our contract, Commander. Let's get you out of here now. Yes, indeed. Oh. Uh, breaking the wall is more fun. And away we go. Okay. AI is programmed to eject only after the last weapon is out of commission. Yeah, I know. Can be funny when you're up close and all they have left is LRMs. Oh no. Basically the end of a golden age of tech, galactic civil war, much of the tech is lost and they end up in a dark age. After five political factions are created that all want to be ruler of the known galaxy. Yes. And they have spread out to pretty much the whole galaxy, right? More or less. Uh, we've got 18 points of salvage now. We'll probably take the blackjack. I was going to say to sell, but no, that would be one of our better mechs now. Improved targeting, hell yes. Okay, so let's say it's a given we take the blackjack. It's missing an engine, a medium laser, and an AC2. We own zero AC... We've got one AC2 spare. I don't really want to pair a couple of, like, tier 1 and tier 0 auto cannons. Any thoughts of playing co-op? That'd be neat. Not at all because there are the periphery and the deep periphery. They only fight for the inner sphere. Yeah, but like... They don't need to be... Like, they could have most of the galaxy, right? Um, I don't... I'm guessing they don't, but... I haven't actually checked. I think there was an image I saw of like... The exile of what turned into the clans, looking back towards the inner sphere, and they're literally like, sort of outside the galaxy, but not, you know, on the very edges. Ooh, tier one medium lasers? We've already got five, actually. What I did last time with a blackjack was took off one of the auto cannon twos for more armor and or heat sink. And the AC2 was just for plinking. But if I give it to a bot, that doesn't really work out. Uh, what else should I grab here? Oh, that actually costs two. I think we should get the spare AC. Nah, this'll do, I think. That's a lot of small lasers. We've got plenty of heat sinks. AC2 half ammo. I'm sure I can buy it somewhere. Alright. Uh, we've got... Almost everyone still healthy. Oh, Freeman is elite. Was he always elite? I think he was, actually. Uh, and I don't think we've got any more missions here. If we're going to hop over to... Do we need to? Probably, yeah. There's some stuff missing to get that mech fixed up. If we're going to hop over to the... Industrial base... We don't even have any eight or auto cannon two ammo to give this thing. But yeah. Whoever it was that was good at 
ballistic weapons, we'll give him the blackjack. We're almost better off with a pair of machine guns over a pair of AC2s. Yeah, I like them, but I hate them because you get tons of range and really high projectile speed. But it's six tons for a weapon that deals two damage, although the rate of fire isn't that bad. It's, I think it's too much tonnage for the AC2, honestly. Alright, uh... Oh, and the Centurion is ready as well. So if we get this thing going, suddenly we're up to like 145 plus 20, 165 tons. Or more than that if we put like the Jenna over here. Fantastic, that's a pretty big jump. I don't know why we can't see any... Maybe there aren't any rare weapons or rare mechs or anything on sale over here. Anyway, let's go to Ulysses. How much money do we got? Lying around. See the AC2 like a sniper machine gun, yeah. I just think it costs a little too much tonnage for what it does, but I still kind of like it. And on the blackjack, it covers the range um, issue. Oh, it's got jump jets. I forgot about that. I wonder if the AI is going to do a lot better with jump jets. I haven't really noticed. I guess if the enemy are using the same AIs... Oh, yeah, yeah, sniper! We can actually have a catapult that has medium lasers not run into brawler range. Looking forward to that. Well, now I do want to try the blackjack. We need a engine core 180 if possible. 185? Uh... Am I going to have to shave off, like, half a ton somewhere or something? Should I try it? Also, what about that mech that we have in cold storage? Oh. I sold it. I forgot. Never mind. We've got more of the same for sale over here. Oh, wait, wait. This uh, javelin actually has double SRM-6. That is a lot more formidable. But we're going to be outgrowing the ja uh, javelin pretty soon anyway. I could put a couple of LRM-5s on it and turn it into a missile boat. A very tiny missile boat. How heavy is an L uh, SRM-6 again? Like four tons or something? What am I doing? Equipment. LRM-5 is 2 tons. SRM-6 is only 3. Hmm. Why not both? Uh, I don't think, like, 2 LRM-5s is going to be doing enough. Okay, engine core 185. I'm going to try shoving this in to the BJ-1, see what happens. Engine core 185. We're half a ton over tonnage, sure enough. And presumably it is a little bit faster... And maybe more internal heat sinks by a tiny amount than it would normally have. 66.6 .6 speed. It's not too bad. I could actually put large lasers on it. 
because we're only constrained by number and type of hard points now instead of like small energy hard point. So what, theoretically if I had the tonnage I could put a large laser on a on a locust? How many large lasers do I have? Almost zero. If I recall correctly, the heat per second of a large laser... 1.236 per second, it actually calculates it for us. Oh, that's a lot larger than the medium. Quite a lot more. Range is up to 720. And this one's up to 1152. We obviously don't have the tonnage to spare for large lasers either, even if I remove the mediums. I've only got one uh, tier 1 AC2. Mm. Well, no, I'll just leave the tier zeros in here for the moment. It actually costs money to pull them out and stuff anyway. Only a tiny amount, really. Repair all... Um, engine core 185. And where are we going to get half a ton from? Also, we don't have the AC2... I should have taken the half AC2 ammo. It literally would have fit perfectly. Can I buy it? Ammo... Uh... Auto cannon... Five? God damn it. Should have salvaged it. What is sniper ammo for? Hmm. So, for the moment, we can't use the Auto Cannon 2s at all on the Blackjack. Well, it's going to take time to fix it up anyway, and then it takes like almost no time or money to install ammo. Um, so, we may as well repair it. Um, load out, repair all, shove in a slightly bigger engine because that's what we've got. Um, can we give it higher tier medium lasers? We can. I think we should. And then remove the AC2 ammo. How much... Oh, crap. Revert. One ton of AC2 ammo is 200. So we're going to have 100 shots still. I think that's not too bad. It's not great. Maybe we'll... Drop half a ton of armor. Or I could drop one of the auto cannon twos and we'd have like lots of tonnage to spare. Mm. Nah, I want it to plink away those helicopters with ease. Um, so we'll just repair it to this standard now. And we'll put in the ammo when we can. Maybe we'll even use it while we've got just the four medium lasers on it, effectively. 
It's 52 days until any of this matters. Uh, it's also like a third of our money to get it queued up. Alright. We lost a medium... Two medium lasers? God damn it. What's his name again? Freeman, you got some splaining to do. Alright, uh, can we repair it properly? Because I just put the tier 1 mediums somewhere else. We've got some left. Just barely. Fantastic. What if we give it longer range missiles? Two tons versus two tons. We could go SRM4 or LRM5. I think I'd rather have it able to do its little SRM shotgun though. This one's totally fine. This one's totally fine. Repair all. And 16 days until... Oh, even less than that. Uh, if we go double Centurion, it's like five days until we have a whole lance ready. If we go double Centurion, Javelin, Locust. Alright. What about fixing up negative traits? 80 days, 180 grand each. Mm -mm. Not until we get more pilots so we can have spares. All right. Let's check equipment. I should probably buy some of each of these. 72 grand, damn. That's not that much. I should probably buy just a little bit of all of these. So we have at least one, so we don't find ourselves in this situation again. We're probably not going to see an AC-20 for a minute, though. Um... That is a very tiny engine. What does the Locust use? 160. Well, guess what? We don't have that. I guess you could put in a 110 and maybe give it a tiny bit more armor or something? Probably not. It's probably already, like, maxed out on armor. A 20 ton mech. I can't look at it in detail right now. I do eventually want to have at least one spare engine of, like, every size, but, um, they're a little bit expensive for now. Oh, we definitely need more heat sinks. Cheap as chips, and you never, ever, ever want to run out of them. And we could probably take some spare LRMs. Especially the kind that we use on our Centurions. SRM2 Inferno. Oh, I vaguely remember these. Two unguided missiles. Minimal damage but adds 0.6 heat per second. Per missile to the target over 5 seconds. 3 heat in total. That's not that much. Two explosion damage to non-mech targets. That sounds pretty weak, actually. Like, you'd have to... You'd have to hit them a lot to cook them. And by then... Just shoot them? Maybe if they've got a ton of armor, this is a lot more effective. Tier 1 large laser? Yes, please. 200 grand each. I could probably take all of them. Flamers are incredibly cheap. Let's grab a couple of those. Considering putting them on the... One of the small mechs. 
I definitely want spare large lasers. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Oh wait, we want a spare higher tier AC2. And by spare I mean enough to put two on the... I should have bought this first. I could have queued it up so that we were putting this on the... on the blackjack. Whoops. It's probably fine. I don't think we really want burst fire on the AC2. The whole point of it is to snipe. Long Tom Artillery. 30 tons. It's obviously a bit early for us to be looking at that. 1.4 mil. Range is... 10 kilometers? What? Up to 5 kilometers optimal range? Six rounds per minute, that's every 10 seconds. Three damage per second is not a lot. 30 damage is a lot of damage. I wonder how... what it's like to use. Does it use sniper artillery or what? Anyway, we'll ignore that for now. Let's continue with the murderizing. We got a high reward quest. Two of them, actually. Considering how easy things have been since we got our four pilots and our two lowest tiers of Warzone, uh, high reward quests are probably the way to go. Let's double check we've queued up everything to be repaired. Oh, should I hire anyone? Mm, these are pretty low tier. I think we'll wait on that a little bit. Especially since money is a thing. What do we have? Uh, two high reward quests. They don't show up when we view intel. Bully some pirates, lose a little bit of rep with independence, those are probably fine as well. Let's head over there. Noble cause. Hunting the syndicate where it counts most in the pot. Oh, this is just a thing we've been waiting to do anyway. Um, where is that located? Way over here. That'll be in a while. Uh, what else have we got? Picking up the pieces. Oh, this is one of the quest, the main quest line missions as well. Fair enough. And one of them is defense contract in the system. Let's do that first. We're up to a whopping 14 difficulty. That'll do. Okay. Who should pilot the second centurion? Oh, I think I will actually. I think I prefer the large laser, the hit scan. And also the not loud thump. And then we're probably going Jenna Javelin? Wait, what's our tonnage? 160. That actually gets us just under tonnage. If we go for maximum, we lose a little bit of reward. And I think we don't have to worry about getting wrecked too much just yet. Alright, so who is good for taking damage, 
and all three weapon types. One out of eight, damn. Uh, it's probably going to be Freeman. Yeah, I think it's going to be Freeman. Dropship is so loud. Yes. Uh, what else we got? Daka and lasers, lasers and missiles. We want lots and lots of evasion. Maybe I should put Freeman on the Locust. We got four out of five evasion here. That's pretty good. Oh, weren't you the one who, like... Oh, you've got the worst dagger skill. Lasers and missiles go here. Uh, I think Dawson... Dawson's just good, honestly. I am... Oh, and no negative traits yet. I was going to say, I am failing to recall exactly what the negative traits are at the moment. I think this one is... Minus one to maximum laser and missile, because you love Daka, but you've got like one out of one Daka. Kind of ironic. But yeah, I think it's We're more important go, for, to get some damage out of the Jenna. Um, and someone who's very good at evasion and taking damage in the Locust. Even though you've only got one out of one bullet damage. Alright, this looks good. Deploy. Alright, we're gonna get to the agricultural complex and hold off the vandals until their forces deplete. I know it doesn't look like we'll be protecting much, but this is all these farmers have. I hope I didn't just stomp on a little bit of what these farmers have. No, we're good. Um, protect the garrison. Cool. I don't have to like walk somewhere first. Nothing on scopes at the moment, but don't get comfortable. Hostiles have been reported in the area. Hostiles do be appearing. Engaging with enemy battlement. Oh, yeah, this is the non-streak LRM. Some of it is always... I mean, some LRMs are always going to miss, but these are a bit worse in that respect. Large laser, though. Oh, I think I want... Um, I think I want large laser on two, mediums on one... Small laser on three, why not? Phew! You can hardly even see it. And if I want to punch something, I'll just have to reach all the way across to the five button. You were a little safer in the sky. What do we got here? A cicada. I was going to launch the LRMs just a second after that, but never mind. get the trees out of the way for the large laser. Uh, 
Rex. I don't think that's my target. Oh, it is. that down. Oh, it can survive a large laser. Oh no. Yeah, the AI definitely is vastly improved. I'm very impressed. weapon aimed at us. Even the refresh on the small laser doesn't feel like it's worth it. Like it's, it's got about the same DPS as medium if it's in ideal range. But you still have to wait on firing it again, what feels like almost as long. And beam. Uh oh. It's gonna stomp the stuff we're supposed to protect. Wait, just fire. It's a lot easier to get the maximum damage out of large laser than something that you have to lead. Is that it? It feels nice to stand up for the little guy. Consider the little guy stood up for. And I don't think we took any real damage. What do we got here? I could take an assassin. Not overly excited about it. I mean, as a mech, we could sell it. I think we've got enough heat sinks for now. How many pieces do we need for a Shadow Hulk? Eleven. Oh, Shadow Hulk's got like two weapons, doesn't it? I remember it being, or at least the variant that I had, being very underwhelming firepower-wise for the tonnage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we couldn't make one right now anyway. Oh wow, payout directly is a million. That's like doubling our money. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything I'm excited about here, so let's grab the assassin for the money. And is there some ammo? Oh, ammo is green. We need AC ammo. 
So I guess AC ammo would be purple, actually. Gotta watch out for that, it's not blue anymore. Should probably have a spare LRM ammo, because we've got literally zero right now. And everyone is barely fatigued. Alright, let's do another one. Oh, uh, let's repair first. That might be a good idea. We sell the assassin once more. And 17 days until we have blackjack. Still looking for ammo for it. But, yeah, we can repair these. Actually, okay, if I just repair, that's one day. If we put flamers on Locust, as one person suggested, damage 2 per second versus 1.19 per second. There's the heat damage, though. Also, I think flamers are in the same category as machine guns as being very good at clearing buildings. I don't really want to force the locust to be within... well, 90 meters for a locust is like kind of far. Hmm. It also generates less heat, but I don't think we have to worry about that. What would it cost us, and how long would it take to swap these right now? Seven days? 21 grand total. Seven days on that one anyway. Are we even going to be using the Locust for another minute? Well, yeah, we have to keep under tonnage. Alright, let's try it. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Flame a locust is go. Weapon range drops from... We just dropped our range by more than 50%. Also, alpha strike damage drops, but that's like a funny way to look at machine gun and flamer. Okay. Oh yeah, it takes longer. Uh... Wait, it takes longer. Ten days? I think the longest we had to wait for one of these was like seven. We want to get into the next mission. Okay, in that case that can wait. Contracts? Why is it glowing? Why is the star map button glowing? Oh, we also have transmissions. Coalition of Farmers Part 2 should probably do that. Assassinate the commander of the raiders. Fantastic. Is it in the same place? Uh, it is not. I think we'll finish what we're doing here first. Defense versus some pirates. We're getting too big for this place. But I'd still like to get some stuff done without before we pay for travel. I know I've got negotiation points left. We're reading heavy weather warnings out there, Commander. Expect limited visibility and sensor malfunctions on this mission. Seems good. Wait seven days. And away we go. Fantastic. Another yellow planet. Let's get a move on, it's not as bright, though. 
industrial settlement. Oh, we're going the wrong way. How did we get here? Where are we going? What is this? I want to get something I can use as an LRM boat. Oh, I forgot to take the opportunity to swap in the LRM streak. It probably would have taken too long though, just like swapping in the flamers. Oh, we have to defend something that's down in the middle of a lower elevation? Okay, cool. We can start it from here. That actually might be kind of good. No, I changed my mind. Unless we had jump jets that could get us from there to there. These are basically like giant walls around the place. If we can get where we need to go, that is. Edgy. That blackjack sure would be good right now. not gonna like I don't think the AI it doesn't look like it's gonna slip down here and then not know how to get back up oh I take everything back indeed don't tell me they're having trouble pathing oh no or they just have to go through this windy cavern. Cavern? Canyon. If you find the acquisition, just walk up to it in order to pick it up. Free stuff. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. What do we get? Cargo acquired. Machine gun, level two. Is this locust just wondering how it can get back up? He's stuck on a piece of terrain. Look at this. Oh my goodness. There you go. We'll obliterate that target and pop that blood bag inside it. Ten out of ten AI. I'm kidding, it's mostly really, really good. Oops, I think I fell. Oh, it's worse than I thought. Leg damage. Gratuitous leg damage. I'm not getting back up there, am I? This is a really awkward mission. I think the enemy just doesn't know how to get here. Did I smash something I wasn't supposed to? I think we're good. 
I don't suppose I can walk back up this way? Probably not. Don't really have time to check right now. Oh, you are closer than I thought. Works for me. seem to know what to do about the hills. Would you die already? Thank you. Yeah, I'm not getting back up this way. How close are these mechs? They need to run through the gauntlet as well. Sorry, sir. Unable to target. This is a very awkward mission. Can I get up this? Yes. Wait, it's still alive? Down. More enemies inbound. They really are gunning for you, Commander. Watch out. Yeah, I don't think they're doing a very good job of pathing here. I was gonna say I'll go get them, but well let's go get them. Oh, never mind. But we should defend that other pass where the enemy actually finds their way through. That was quick. Yes, you will. Got the helicopters for me. Good job. Oh, that was quick. Heat's getting a little high. I think I'll take a nap. While I have the opportunity. down to a reasonable temperature. Oscar Mike. Is that mech coming Your back or what? Panther. Oh, it's a different one. I don't think it has jump jets. It might have jump jets, but I don't think it's smart enough to... Yep, there we go. Get that PPC out of here. I don't think he likes his odds. Leave that to my squad mates. Oh, he's turning around. I'm showing no more enemies on the squad. And that's Commander. it. Well done. Fantastic.
What do we got? A tier two machine gun? Sure. We have... 15 salvage points. An assassin. Do we have any that didn't lose their engine cores? No. We we'll probably just take this to sell. 3.5 mil, not bad. Uh, that leaves us with three points left over. Seems... Uh, let's take a medium laser. We've got enough heat sinks for now, I think. Seems good. Pretty low damage as well. We've got one contract left in this system. Uh, pilots I didn't look at. Pilots are good. Fantastic. Let's sell the assassin, I think. Again. Only two days until the blackjack is ready. Is what I would say if it had any ammo. For the AC. Alright. Um, we're not missing any parts or anything. Repair all. I should have checked how long that would take. If I don't take the Jenna and drop five tons, we could go in two days. Seems reasonable. And this one is a raid. Sure. Give it all to me now. Everyone's rest... Oh, three days. Hmm. Mission starts in five days. That's fine, actually. That is fine. Let's -a go. Our target is a series of satellite relays housed in installations marked on your map. Destroy them and head to the rendezvous point for evac. We will monitor your progress from here. Good luck, Commander. Fantastic. Let's swing by some of these little buildings, see if we don't find free stuff. We find nothing? What are you guys doing back there? That was gratuitous. Again? Are you doing this for fun? I'm detecting unidentified mechs in the area. Moving in to investigate. Alright. Time to pay attention. Where enemy? Still not seeing anything. Uh, maybe I shouldn't walk off this cliff. Actually, it's fine. Let's go slowly, though. That's some Irby. Oh, it does have the AC-20. Let's, uh... Let's fight it at long range. Regrouping it requested. 
another Irby. Also with an Auto Cannon 20. It's like the inexorable march of zombies at us. I'm at the location, Commander. Target acquired. Don't get clapped by the Irby, little locust. Yes, we're committed now. That looked cool. <laughs> oh no. Friendly fire. Hurry up and get the gun off. I think it's exploding. Fantastic. I'll ignore him for now. Priority one is that other auto cannon 20. Fantastic. We're pretty safe now. And that's it. Another Orbi, this one with an AC-10. Mills on ascent. Ooh, wait, what? Oh, medium lasers on a centurion. I haven't seen one without medium lasers. What do you mean? Um, I don't have an angle to help with this urban mech. I'm a little concerned. I don't want that AC-10 aimed at our locust or something. AC-20 or bust, indeed. Stephanos, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't think we've had the opportunity to use an AC-20 this playthrough yet. What are we breaking here? Oh, this thing. I don't know if you can destroy the giant artillery. Um, I haven't tried that hard, but I have put a little time into shooting them before, and I've never seen them break. So where's this dropship? Oh, hello. No, thank you. I don't want a PPC aimed at us. Should we kill this stuff? No, I think we should just leave. Aye, aye. Moving out. Get out of here with almost no damage while we still can. You one-shot lights? With an AC-20? Yeah, of course. Uh oh. And time to loot. Wow, those urban mechs are so messed up that the share cost to salvage them is two and four. Um, we could maybe do that to sell. What else have we got? Nothing we don't already have. Uh, an AC-10. 
We might already have a spare AC-10 with tier 1, but I could be wrong. Wow, I guess we're just taking stuff for money this time. Spare medium lasers don't hurt. Got all, I think we have enough jump jets. Um, SRM-6. I will take the heat sinks because they can be hard to come by in the vast numbers that we need. Reused for 19 days. Alright. That's pretty cheap to repair. Do we have anything else left in the system? We do not. Fantastic. What's the repair penalty in this place? Hey, we got two Urbies. Let's go, Urbie squad. That's incredibly cheap. Let's just do it here and head straight for this mission. 20 days. I think we can do everything. Yeah, we can. Let's sell these two. Um, I would love to use the blackjack, but we still haven't found any auto cannon 2 ammo. Uh, we're kind of at our limit for tonnage for now, anyway. Uh, we did lose a machine gun on the locust, unfortunately. How long would this actually take? Six days? I think this is our chance to try the flamer memes. 14 days, that's like... How many hops are we doing? Two, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Flamer locust, go. And everything else, auto-repair, actually, actually, perhaps we could upgrade our laser. Um, we need to repair this, how long is that going to take? 30 grand in 5 days, compared to... Holy crap! Does it really cost 120 grand to move a... To move a large laser? I think... I think we will put that off. I don't think we desperately need one more pip on our large laser just yet. Alright, this is fine for now. And auto repair everything. Okay. Let's head over for the assassination quest. So sick of working on the user manual that I'm and busy these days, so that no one will read it and ask me the same absurd questions day after day. Oh no. We have a couple of quests for pirates. I don't think we'll do that, actually. Clean water is a precious commodity. Put some extra stress on the inhabitants by destroying their reserves. How about we don't do that? And also mess up our uh, rep with these guys. Okay. The pirate band... Let's get them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Heads up, Commander. Weather conditions in the area will restrict visibility For the moment, and only have an effect on your senses. 60 pages and only halfway. Oh no. 
Oh, I completely forgot. Well, no. Uh, if I was going to put in the large laser, I would have done this as well. But I wanted to put in a LRM-10 streak in this one as well. It can wait. It's fine. We can go a bit higher on the tonnage this time. So maybe... Javelin? Seems a good. Honestly, the... No, 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 no. It's, it's flame a locust meme time. It is that time of day. We're doing this. Burn them all up, little locust. Oh, and it's on a hot planet. That could be more effective than I realized. Hopefully, that'll be enough to get them to leave our employers be. No free stuff. Alright, this is not that far away. Uh, that was quick. Well, even was that? something over here. There we go. And suddenly we're surrounded. Whoops. I think it was because of the pop-up guns. Give me that targeted asset. Thousand percent. Enough. Ready to start pickup operation. There we go. Brilliant. Acquired. That is a griffin. Copy. We're on it, sir. Actually, should we focus fire? There's a lot of little targets right now. Getting into formation, Commander. Don't target sent to hell. Oh, this is our target as well. Convenient. My heat is getting crazy. Let's shut down for like two seconds. Close for LRMs. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, I think uh, I think we picked the right mission to play with flamers. Oh, good. I wasn't. I didn't have enough problems. Fantastic. Another centurion. Punchy time. Oops, that was a big waste of heat. He's already gone. Fantastic. New target, Commander. What's target this? Acquired. Oh, Blackjack. Probably focus that. that it's not exactly a rifleman, but relatively it is a glass cannon. Could you come a little closer, please? No? Oh, I probably could have punched him there. Can 
we got trouble. the blackjack. Oh no. Drive me closer. I want to hit hit it with my fist. Oh, he's in trouble. Get out of here. What the? Walk on up to the treasure to pick it up. Your ch what? I didn't get to read what that said. Did I just like abandon one of my pilots because I had two milliseconds to turn around? You're kidding. Uh... So is he just effectively dead? Or do we maybe get a rescue mission? You muppet. Alright, what did we find? Griffin? But we need an engine core 275, which will probably be hard to find. Uh, LRM-10 PPC, and nothing else. That's a lot of tonnage for only two weapons. Probably take the spare LRM-10. And we get AC-2 ammo? No. No, we cannot. Centurion sh salvage? Maybe? How many would we need? Uh, ten. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. So the next time we break up a Centurion. Or I guess this is our broken Centurion. I mean, I, I haven't found out yet if we, like, lost our mech or not. The fact that that happened, like, two milliseconds before the mission ended and I didn't get to read it... Like, maybe it would tell me... Uh, I don't think it, we would have had the opportunity to, like, try and bring him back in. Alright, we've still got 13 points. We could take the griffin to sell. I think we probably will do that. Is there anything I want that we're not getting? It depends on if I want to do the Centurion salvage or not. Well, I think it's probably safe to say that we're going to find five pieces the next time we find any pieces. Right? It always seems to be several, but not enough to build the whole mech. So we got two more points that we could spend... Uh, on what though? We've only got three spare jump jets at class four. And one LRM ammo. That's fine. So now we need a new pilot. Well, actually, we've still got a spare, but, um, 
You're out of action for 28 days as well. Wait, you're the one who... Oh. The Jenna got wrecked. Hmm. That's not as bad. LRM10, tier 2. We also get a Cicada to kind of repla replace our Jenna, I guess. It's kind of a worse Jenna, though. Energy proficiency. Easy to pilot. Let's see. Turn speed and deceleration is up 10%. It's only got two medium lasers and a flamer, though, but five more tons. It's very, very fast. No jump jets? Hmm. Uh, we're not going to find an engine core. Oh, we do have 8.6 mil now. That actually makes replacing, fixing the Jenner a problem as well. Where are we? We've got a couple of missions here, but I think we're going to hop over to an industrial hub before we continue with those. It's only House Davian versus Independence that I would want to take anyway. And I don't want to drop my rep with the Independence. So I think we're done with this system, actually. It's only two hops to Industrial Hub. Maybe a nice mech, maybe. I think we'll wait till we get there before we repair things. Uh, let's see if we can buy anything relevant, though. SRM half ammo, that's actually something I want. And double ammo? It just saves space, I think. Haven't played in years? This is career mode? Uh, yeah, it's the... the, the normal career, but with some mods. Uh, don't really care about SRMs very much. Tier 2 though, and it's really cheap. Why not? We've already got a couple of spare large lasers, I don't think we have to stress that much about it. And AC5. Never mind. Uh, were they not? Oh, it's the black market. Yeah, they're not going to be selling that much. Alright, let's hop on over to Evansville. Pilot recovered. Well, that was easy. <laughs> it wasn't too hard to skirt the enemy's search party and avoid the would-be captors. So is it like a dice roll that we might have just lost him forever? Gunman here. We have a panther for sale. Anything that makes it special? The heck is YAML counter W? YAML UAV. XL engine. This is the kind of stuff that I wish you could see in the base game. Because, like, I'll take a different uh, configuration of catapult and try and, you know, or two different mechs that are the same tonnage and try and put similar weapons on them or something and wonder why, with the same movement speed, same weapons, same heat sinks, etc., one of them is, like, has more tonnage. We do have double heat sinks on this guy. I would particularly like to acquire double heat sinks. It's a surprise tool that'll help us later. Also, AC2 ammo. We kind of need that. We could probably just buy it anyway. 
now that we're here. I was going to say, strangely enough, no. We can buy double ammo. I think what we needed is half ammo for that build. Uh, but yeah, I'm seriously considering buying the panther to strip it. Also got double AC2 on one arm. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Structure endo. What is that? Engine double heat sinks. Dynamic structure. Wait, let's look at the mech itself. 35 tons. Nimble jumper. More jump jet acceleration, thrust, burn time, and less heat. Maybe I'll consider just taking this mech as it is. What's its speed like? 80? That's decent. Lots of jump height. 75 meters, that's quite high. Um, what, are, what are the weapons? I wish this scrolling was less of a problem. Double AC2, kind of like what we wanted on our SRM2. It's only AC and SRM? That's questionable. How much ammo does it carry? Uh, AC ammo, 200 shots. I don't know about this one. Do I have the money to take it just to turn it into dual heat sinks? Not really. In fact, I can't even afford it without selling something. Alright, I guess we'll leave you behind. Uh, so we still have no AC ammo or AC ammo half for the autocannon 2. That's really unfortunate. We've got a lot of options here for engine core. I can't remember what... Engine core 275 is what we need for the griffin. Oh no, I slept a 185 in here when we needed a 180. That was the thing. It's almost a million. I can't stock up on these. Not yet. Well, I kind of can. What was I doing? Oh yeah. The trouble is, uh, with the bigger engine that we slammed into this thing, because that's what we had, we've got a bit more tonnage than usual. I could drop one auto cannon too. I think that's the solution. But then it has less pew pew. Or daka daka, anyway. Mm. Should we wait longer before I find, like, regular auto cannon 2 ammo for sale? I can't drop, like, two tons of armor. That's actually going to be quite a lot. Or a ton and a half. Uh, I don't want to have zero of any of these things. DK Zen. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What else have we got? All kinds of engine cores. Um... I want to start stocking up on these. Well, let's look at the engine cores that we really don't want to do without. 200. Uh, that was a 245. We actually need one to fix the Jenna. Mechs getting cored has become a lot more expensive. 
But yeah, we definitely want spare core 200s because that's what our stompiest mechs run on right now. So where's 200? Don't tell me we don't have it here. Oh no. Not only do we not have 200, but we don't even have like a couple of slightly smaller ones. I mean, I could get a 180 and a 170. That's wild, you got my name right. Most say DK, Z, and XD. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, I guess we'll buy these two. And what was missing? 245 or something? 270? Uh, from the Jenna? Do we even want to go out of our way to keep the Jenna? I think we're just about outgrowing it, right? It was engine core 245. Which we do have here. So it's 1.2... Uh, one and a quarter mil up front, and then whatever it costs to repair this thing. No! You're joking. Can I not, like, undo that? I thought I was clicking the repair mech button so we could see what it would cost. I'm gonna have to, like, save scum a little bit here. Entered system. Alright. What is this mech? The Bulldozer. This is the first time I've seen a MechWary game. It looks fun. It is indeed. Okay, so if we were to repair the Jenna as is, that alone is 360 grand. That's actually not as much as I was expecting. So it's like 1.7 mil or so? No, it's going to cost more because to install a part costs something, and it was like 50,000 to install a large laser. So we're probably looking at like 2 million to get our Jenna back. I'm not that married to the Jenna. I'm really not. Even though we've got a couple of pilots with, like, experience in the Jenna. Um, no, I think we'll just sell it. This thing's also been cored. It's only got, like, one laser, one missile slot. I don't think that's good enough for a 55-ton mech. If you realize you didn't mean to start a repair order, you can cancel them on the Work Orders tab. Oh. Let me just confirm that. Are you sure you want to cancel order? Refund 40 grand. Time remaining 4 days. So we do get it all back. 283,116 days. Oh, nice. Never noticed that. Thank you. The thing about the Jenna that makes it great is the maneuverability, indeed. The thing that makes it a liability is the head position. It's easy to cap. It was a lot easier to cap in um, MechWarrior 2. Like, just absurdly easy to hit the cockpit. And the things would run straight at you as well. <laughs> Not the best AI. That's how I remember it anyway. Holy crap. One oh, this is the artillery itself. One million. This one's only 20 tons. 20 damage. Optimal range 5 kilometers. That's pretty heavy, though. Um, 
What else are we doing here? I did want this stuff. At least a couple of each. I never want to find myself with zero ammo for something, if I can help it. Sensors improved. Sensor range bonus 100 meters. And it's only 170 grand. Shut up and take my money. How much weight is it? Or does it just make the mech more expensive or something? Sensors standard, 20 tons. Sensors improved, 20 tons. Up to 900 meters. That's not that big of an improvement. Um, 30 grand to install it. Five days. It's relatively pretty damn cheap. Um, I should probably put it on my main mech. Which, now that I think of it, I'm glad we can do this. Uh, I wanted to put... Better large laser. And LRM 10 streak. That streak makes more difference than you might think to how many actually hit, especially against smaller targets. And we'll put the improved sensors in. What is FCS? I'm sure we'll find out. Armor standard. I think you can have more expensive but lighter armor, right? Or oh, what's the downside for it? I can't remember. Very fibrous armor, was it? That's a lot of LRM ammo. That's 88 shots. I don't think I'm getting to 44 shots. Uh, maybe. Well, it's a ton of ammo. We can pretend we have infinite ammo with that. What would I do with an extra ton anyway? Not sure. Probably should have kept uh, finished browsing this first. I'll definitely take the heat sinks. Jump Jets Class 1. I don't think we need those yet. I don't think I've even seen a mech with uh, Jump Jets at 90 tons. Like, in my longer playthrough. 2 tons and laser arms? FCS Fire Control System. Oh, nice. This is fine. This is fine for now. Should probably... Oh, we've got eight spare medium lasers if things get really dire. That's good. PPCs are good, but also bad. Um, well, I wouldn't say bad. The large laser is a lot more reliable, and it's lighter. That's the real kicker. Produces a lot less heat for the damage as well. The Highlander is... Wait, wait, wait. Does the Peeper not drop off with damage? Since with mods, we get optimal range. Max range 900, optimal range 450. But the Peeper... Oh, optimal range 368. Never mind. Not rewarded for leading the target. Rip. The Highlander uses jump jets. Okay. All right, uh, that'll have to do for now, I think. This is the Jenna that we just sold. All right. Repair. Seems good. 
good. Flamer was surprisingly good, especially because we picked exactly the right uh, mission to start using it. Is there a universe where I should make another hop looking for AC2 ammo? Ah, oh, that's so dumb. Normal PPC has a min range of 90 meters. Apart from the way LRMs work, I'm not sure how minimum range is supposed to work in, you know, 3D first person mech game. We've got 10 mil now. I could make one more hop looking for stuff, or we could just go do this mission. Indentured Apex employees. Oh, right. Some bad bosses need stomping. Let's go show them who is the boss. Except, can I see what the tonnage is? The tonnage limit? No. Potential max up to 50 tons. I really would prefer it if... Oh, I forgot to sell this. I might keep it as a spare, actually. In fact, it's a lot better than a javelin for a spare. Actually, no, it's only got two lasers. What am I saying? This thing has four. This one doesn't fall apart in a gentle breeze. But actually, it's got less armor? What the hell is it good for? Going really fast and then instantly dying. We've got the locust for that. So it's not like a different genera, it's like a different locust. 40 ton locust is basically what this is. Hmm. I'm gonna try one more hop. We may as well go here. Looking for auto cannon 2 ammo. Just nearly null damage. It doesn't make any sense though. We got medium laser short burst. What's its DPS compared? Oh, I can't really compare it because it's tier 3. Oh, yes I can. DPS, 1.17 per second, it's higher. Heat per second is slightly higher. It's proportionally higher. What about range? It is exactly the same. Uh, this one's pretty good. That's definitely a catch. I'd like to have more than one of them, though. When I actually use them. I actually don't like streak for SRMs. I want them to blast out like a shotgun. Binary laser. Oh, this is the two large lasers that cost two extra tons. Or oh, 1.6 large lasers, basically. I'm looking forward to using those, but we can't really use them right now. Alright, let's quickly look through... We have many engine cores. We needed 200, didn't we? I guess I could take a 190 as a spare. Uh, I'll ignore this for now. Sensors improved. All of them, please. Uh, ammo. What do we got? AC2 half ammo. Shut up and take my money. Machine gun ammo. LRM half. SRM half. 
they're very cheap. We should just grab them. I'm not going to worry about long term just yet, I don't think. That's a half, though. Those can be relatively hard to find. All right. Should we grab these? We can afford them. Why not? Okay. Blackjack. Loadout. We could keep it as is now. And just give it half a ton of ammo. Uh, well, we don't really have a choice because it's that or double and we can't... We can't fit double. Is it madness to put the ammo in the center torso? We've got the most armor there. No, I think we should probably put it off to the side somewhere. And that's literally free. Fantastic. All right. Let's head over to our mission. Just double check everything's good to go. I think so. Pilots are healthy and not missing in action. Engage. Fantastic. And Noble Cause. That's a lot of other missions as well. We'll have a look at those afterwards. Punish limit 200. Uh, that's 50 times 4. That's the most we could possibly have at the moment, really. I think we'll be taking some extra damage this time, so let's do at least 400 grand of coverage. And I don't think we'll be taking a Locust this time. Alright, who's our DACA enthusiast? Well, technically you're a DACA enthusiast, but... Um, school dropout, decreased heat management. Bruh. You're a pretty good DACA enthusiast. And laser enthusiast. And you've got no negatives. What the... What? We've been through this many times and it never gets old. Let's do this. Dawson? You've changed. I mean, whatever makes you comfortable, but it's sure. Night in the galley. Just wasn't expecting that after you were MIA. Uh defense is kinda low. Blackjack. Oh, I need to double check, but I'm pretty sure the blackjack is set up as a sniper. Yes, fantastic. This is a scout. This is a scout. This is a scout. These are brawlers. Perfect. I think we're ready. Except, let's have a little more tonnage and safety for our scout. Away we go. Oh, we're already getting shot at. Someone's getting shot at.
Objective down. Target down. I got it. Oh wow! Did the <laughs> I've never heard those before. I think um I think the dropship shot some stuff for us. Including the objective. Got another one. Okay. Uh oh. This guy's still alive. Not a fan of that. That's not what I want to be in front of. I think firing my lasers prevented me from punching. Second there. Oh, that looked weird. Alright, let's get this thing done. There's still an enemy back there. I think it might be a turret, though. I think I can probably trust three lance mates to kill one little tiny... One little tiny thing. Apparently they're struggling. Uh, what is happening? Alright, got there eventually. Fantastic. seen the blackjack doing any sniping yet. I do hear auto cannon rounds going by, but I don't think they're from my team. Could be wrong. I hear the blackjack firing. It's just a locus. And not going to be able to punch it. Sit down. That's the tank. There's a lot of stuff here. Maybe I should have just focused by the satellite and run. No, the tanks would have all chased us. Alright, we're 
just about got everything sorted here. Fantastic. I see auto cannon shots, I do not see them hitting. Good enough, I guess. That's just a turret. I think we can ignore it. I don't think we want to go down there. Oh, whoops. Oh, there's a mech. What have we got? Shadowhawk. Hmm, it's gonna be chasing us. I think we kill these small fry and then turn around on it. Friendly fire. leave him in that ditch. Oh my god, how many more little enemies are there? We literally just cleared this area. It's mostly all small laser turrets and stuff. joined us again. I think this is the end of the line. Incoming missile. Target acquired. That's rude. How did my missiles not lock? a little bit of distress. Still got a lot of DACA though. Now he's just got auto cannon 5. And I was gonna say hopefully no ammo. Alright, let's get this thing done. Finally. Didn't take that much damage for all that. Target destroyed. At the waypoint? I'm 
That's the location, Commander. So, what are we doing here? Destroy things. Forming on the commander. Target destroyed. Scratch that target off the list. Nice work, Commander. That should give the Apex Mining Syndicate pause. And a powerful reason to reflect on just how badly they've been treating their employees. Alright, let's be gone. Extraction point for Exfil. I'm on my way. Fantastic. It's a done. Great showing, Commander. Our employers will be pleased. Okay. See how we did. I don't think we took any more than superficial damage. Well, maybe not just superficial, but we only took armor damage. Uh, we could sell this for 3.7 mil. Is there anything we want here? Tier 2 machine gun, maybe? Don't have any spare flamers, and we're starting to use flamers. Hmm. Not overly concerned about small lasers, or any of this for that matter. We probably have a spare AC too. Yeah, I. Th hmm. I only have one point of salvage if I take this. We do have plenty of money for the moment. And it's only 3.7 mil. So, yeah, I think we'll grab all the stuff. Everything that looks a little bit enticing over here. And anything worth money. Oh, that's like two points each. It's not that big of a deal. Seven points left. Spare AC2. Um, we're not losing machine guns that often. Alright, let's just grab the medium lasers, or maybe not. 40 grand each. This is 125, yeah, I think the math on that is pretty clear. Alright, what do we got? Everyone's just fatigued and nothing else. We only took 147,000 damage. Uh, money worth of damage. Get wrecked bosses. And we get a large laser tier 2. Anything else we're trying to do in this uh, system? Maybe. How long would it take to repair? Six days only? Five days? Nine days? We could probably wait nine days in system to do another mission. Why not? Oh. Oh no, that was my mech, that's fine. Alright, so repair all. 
And I think that's going to be it for now. Let's save real quick. And see who, if anyone else is streaming this game, I'd be a little bit surprised. Find someone to raid one way or the other. Oh, there's a couple of people. Stompy mech on mech action. Unmodded co-op. Why not? Let me just check that we can chat here and stuff. Don't really want to raid someone if they have, like, followers only or something. Looks okay. Actually, the video quality is... I think we'll try the next person. Here we go again. Oh, I forgot to read the chat rules. Whoops. Look at your bot from outside. You look completely demolished. <laughs> This looks a bit better. Yeah. Oh. Alright. Uh, that song was... That was somebody's father. Someone's daddy. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. Just and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints for Victoria if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. Take care, guys. White girls incoming. White girls what? incoming. What? Holy shit. Holy shit. Thank you. Thank you. Why do people Why keep do people fucking, keep raiding, fucking me? raiding me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna complain, not gonna but, complain it's but it's pretty fucking hilarious. Holy shit. Holy shit.